Oh my god, I'm back again. I was wanting to do that. So, we're back again. We're back again. We're back at the streaming. I will be playing Yakuza. If Core or someone else joins me, I don't know. But he did try to wake me up, like, uh, a while ago, and it failed. But I woke up 20 minutes after he tried to wake me. And now I'm awake, and now we're doing this. Here's my... I'm holding my controller. Let's continue. Let's go to Purgatory. I am, yes, a lot more perky now. I guess taking a two-hour nap actually is useful. All praise the power nap. I am also drinking water. Because I am out of soda. And because I don't feel like making myself a thing of gamer steps right now. Also because I don't want to feel like my heart's doing a samba. So. Uh, that's a thing. Um, if Core joins. Core. Hint. I'm streaming now. Yes, I am actually feeling better. Mm. I'm feeling a lot better now, actually. A power nap apparently recharges me. I'm I'm shocked. I do not feel right now like death. I took a nap, and I feel better. <laughs> so I'm better. So let's get back at this, shall we? Oh my god, we're back again. Brother, sisters, let me tell you, friends. Everybody. Fuck! I wasn't feeling well. I should be allowed to have taken a power nap. I'm happy and perky and Buck puts me in a freaking thing. I, I, you're rude. You're very rude. Boy. Giddy son. Oh. You can't have a hello ball. Oh no. After I win a certain number of street battles, a street boss will appear and somewhere in the city prepare to take them on. Oh, baby, you've got me more reasons to fight in the streets now. Like, I needed more reasons, but I even got more. Yay. The equipment makes it a lot stronger than it actually is, y'all. Don't panic. Oh my god, we're back again. Brother, sisters, let me try again. All right, I have her with me. started streaming. I should have done that. Why didn't I do that? My bladder's not reminding me it exists. Listen, I can't control the frame rate. I have this set on 30. My game streaming is set on 30. If you're complaining about frame rate, I can't help you. 
Oh, I'm in love with her. She better not die in this series. If she dies in this series, I'm going to be pissed. Please don't die in this game, lady. I like you. Ooh. Oh, stomach. Please stop reminding me you exist. Or, that's not even stomach. It's bladder. Freedom! Uh, be right back. Bladder reminded me it existed. Oh god. Bladder, why'd you do this to me? Bladder, you bitch. There's my controller. Anyway, back. Right. Duh. Obviously. Ugh. Okay. Recording. There we go. I want to know what Kamaki wants. I really do. than ever that's good awesome i woke up and now we're fighting people the, the eldritch have awakened Ugh, the seal has been broken now uh, grab that dude's golf club and beat him over the head with it i can't also sorry if the frame rate gets a little choppy according to punk has gotten a few choppy a few times eh, it was like that before oh yeah so yeah this is nothing new So, hi everyone. Uh, I, uh, oh, also we have the nice lady with us who can do fights with you, and she's really good and competent. And you can do this heat move that basically you kick per a guy in the head w at the same time. And I'm sitting here going, I like this lady. If she fucking dies, I'm killing everyone in this room. I like her. I don't want her to go away. She's actually nice. I like this character. She is the best girl. She is best girl. If she, if she if she dies, we riot. Core, sharpen your pitchforks just in case. I have pitchforks? Somewhere. Oh, that's one of the farmers about it. I forgot to get myself a drink, but I have this glass of- I have this bottle of water. I'm healthy. Also, because I don't want to make gamer selfs and make my heart feel like a ga samba again. <laughs> uh, that is- that is a steam engine. I've learned that you should do it at half dosage. <laughs> Because it says one uh, scoop for one cup, and, um, mm, 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 let just stick to one scoop. Just one cup. But it tastes so good. Eh, yeah. Uh, make your heart go burr. Uh, make my heart feel like when I see Majima shirtless. But he's always shirtless, cat. Exactly. Oh my god! The old man defeated the, guy, the gang who lived here. Good for you. They were wearing white jerseys. They were doing that stupid mission I hated. Oh yeah, uh, as you know, we can't continue the hostess club thing, right, Cor? 
Mm. Yeah, main quest and all that. Yep. I have a theory. I know why. I have a theory. You you think somebody's gonna show up during the hostess thing? Mm hmm Oh, goody. And we can't see him yet until we've seen him officially in the main plot. This is a perfect. This is a. Uh, it's basically a protection measure so you don't spoil yourself. I like that. Is that weird? <laughs> I actually legitimately like that. You'll this is like, no, go do the other thing. Fine, I'll go do the other thing. What what would possibly be so good in the main main story course? <laughs> Husband. I made oh. myself lightheaded. Ooh. Oh, by the way, everyone. I have a new redeem. I, I I forgot to mention that when I was in my half tired state. <laughs> How much of that do you remember? All of it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember doing a bunch of of the hostess stuff, and I remember being told we can't do the hostess stuff, and I remember this lady. I just needed a small reboot. It's fine. Oh wait, art. <laughs> what was it? I was supposed to do art trigger with what? I wasn't paying attention. I was just hitting it. Uh, I think so. Press. Okay, so press RT with a full heat gauge. I'm learning new fight maneuvers. When your heat gauge is full, press RT. Okay, I think I figured it out now. I'm very. You know, some people make fun of games for doing this. Me, the goldfish that I am, very thankful. I saw that core! So, what? What'd you do? I saw you go on to Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> I am going to harvest some lumber, okay? Bugger off. <laughs> oh, the problem. <laughs> it's snitch. Mommy needs a new new pair of shoes, all right? <laughs> okay, okay, as long as you're paying attention to the chat. Oh, yeah, I definitely am. I have two monitors. Oh, look at you, fancy pants. Mm, yes. They also are on their own, like, extendable necks. So Wait. I can swivel them around. You and me are going to talk desk later. Because <laughs> you know that my desk is a desk that was built from the 1980s that's held together now with Gorilla Tape and prayer, right? <laughs> wow, Gorilla Tape, you want that thing to last, don't you? It doesn't hurt my skin when I rub up against it. It, it doesn't chafe. No, uh... This I act splurged on the good shit. Yeah. No, this desk is actually pretty well made. It's one of those... You remember the uh, office desks of the 1980s, 1990s? They were made out of particle board, but they were, like, super strong and sturdy. Yeah. Yeah, I have that one, but, uh... uh you know, it's kind of slowly turning into, like... And, and it's good for a while. Don't worry, it's not going to break on me anytime soon. But, you know, it would be nice to get a new desk. Anyway. Make sure you're, like, doing that, something falls off, and you get the nail gun. <laughs> Anyways, it's holding together pretty nicely. Yeah, it's really, really, well, I mean, the shelving doesn't work because the shelving pegs broke and the holes that you put the pegs in... Well, no, so the shelving pegs didn't break, they came out, but the holes that hold the pegs broke. So I can't use shelves on this. <laughs> yeah, I probably should get some nails. Yeah, sure. Although the top shelf has been holding my Funko Pop collection very well. well All right, left or right, what do you got? Okay, let's see. Uh, I'll go oldest to newest. Uh... Harley Quinn, Har I got Harley Quinn with a mallet, standard Harley Quinn, both the classic, you know, Harley Quinns. Uh, the Medic from Team Fortress 2, Shoto Aizawa, Shoto Aizawa in a sleeping bag, uh, All Might when he's in small form, All Might during his Silver Age, Best Genus, Present Mike, and I have a Sir Night Eye on the way. <laughs> I wanted to get the fat gum, but I couldn't, but they sold, they sold the, ha the GameStop that was having them. Only had four of them, and those sold out instantly to scalpers. Even the guy was, I I even go listen. You don't have to say scalpers, but I have I because he goes, oh those four got sold right away. And I looked at him and I go, oh, I have a question. Yes to one guy. Yes, I think it's a scalper. No, I could not stop our policy. Stop them. You know, because you didn't even bring out a mallet or anything. Mm -hmm. You didn't like. He, no, the guy goes. I did give him a death stare though. Oh, that's gonna stop him. You can't, te you know, company policy, all of that. But, and I've been looking for a fat gum one, but those things go rank up to like forty, sixty dollars, and I'm like, ugh. And I love fat gum. He's so, he's one of the few fat characters in anime that's actually not a negative stereotype. Oh I my god! Like, 
body positivity has just has just not been there in a lot of media, has there? No, it hasn't. No. I think we actually talked about this last time. Yeah, we did. No, it hasn't. And I'm just sitting here, and I love Fatgum, and everyone's like, but Fatgum has that skinny form. Yeah, but he always tries to make sure he's in his big form. The skinny form is practically useless. Yeah, the skinny form is him after he's expended everything. He shouldn't be like that. His strongest is his, is his biggest. When that man gets teeny tiny, he needs borders. He needs it to help protect him. And it's showing. And I sit here going, I love this character, and he's my. F he's one of my favorites because he's such a positive character. They show him eating, and it's not comedic. They show him actually, you know, helping people, doing good. He's not lazy. He's active, and I'm like, I love. This. Fat Gum is my f one of my favorite characters from My Hero Academia. Can you tell? So, oh no! Expound on it more. Expound on so, it. More. And I sit here going. I know the chances of a woman being treated in this kind of light in anime is so far away from now. But I have this, <laughs> and I want this, and I want the fat gum fat. I want the fa some more fat gum merch. I have a fat gum fucking plushie that I cuddle at night. It's I'm pointing at it right now, and no one can see it. I have a fat gum plushie uh, pillow thing that Funimation sold officially, or is it is it Funimation? No, the yeah, Funimation sold that was official. I bought that shit because I'm like, there's so little fat gum merch to begin with. So it's like, allows you to enter extreme heat mode when the heat gauge is fully charged. Gotcha. Remember that feeling? Well, I've improved my extreme heat abilities now. Thank you, old wise man in the alley. Yeah, I, I don't think that's ever struck me as hard, like... Yeah, Fagdom's a freaking oddity compared to, like, other characters. Uh, I think, like, the first time I've ever actively noticed lack of... Fat, fat uh, positivity? Yeah. Was when... Uh, was when the Unexpectables were doing their Fallout 4, or their Fallout-based game. Mm -hmm. Their Fallout tabletop, and... Distortion Devil was the DM, and he described like one of the one of the characters as being round, you know, a little bit overweight. And immediately, I was like, "Oh my God! When have you ever seen someone portly in fucking Fallout?" I can actually name a couple of incidents. Inci really? Mm -hmm. And I would like to point out all the quote. Uh, so the mayor of uh, okay, so he's not like. Me size, but he is rotund. He is round, rotund. Um, there is a fat. There is at least one fat guy I can remember off the top of my brain right now in Fallout Four, and even then, it's not even really fat. It's, it's put. It's 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 above average. Above average is what I would call it. He's got like ten pounds on him. No, more than ten pounds, like twenty, thirty. Um, yeah, still, it, it's not like. It's not me sized, is what I say. It's not... The shadowy figure wears a very baggy clothes, but I am... Fun fact, the shadow figure in here... Me, hi. Um, is the figure, their body is currently actually based off of my actual real-life body. It's just my character wears very baggy clothing because I myself wear baggy, very baggy clothing because I have autism and I like cup and it. I like baggy clothing. I do not like tight clothing on my body. It's not a hiding my body thing. It's a I am comfortable thing. Right. Okay. Where was I going to? So, anyway, the guy that is semi-large in um, uh, Fallout 4 is the mayor of the Green Diamond. Hancock's brother. Mm, okay. Plump. Thank you, squirrels. Plump is the good term to use. And he is, he is squishy. He is round. He's like, mm, eh. He's bigger than average. If you put an average person, if you put one of the average Fallout characters in front of him, he would be still noticeable. That sounds rude, but you get my point. He's uh, like Todd Howard kind of just put round on him. Yes. And I go, there's that's a fat character officially in Fallout 4, but I have an issue with it. And this is a very, 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 very big issue. He's a bad guy. And he's greedy. That's a trope that's very... I have nothing against the trope... Oh, of penguin. 
He's he's penguin. Very thick. Oh my fucking god, you core, I love you platonically. <laughs> core, I love you platonically. Um, but he's yes, he's penguiny, and I sit here going, he's large, but on the nose actually, and I have nothing against. And I'm not one of those people who's like, we should stop making greedy characters fat. I go, no. But it is noticeable. But but he's a he's a villain character. That's the issue I have. It's not that he's fat. I have an issue that he's a villain. It's like there's so little. There's so few large characters that are not only seen in a positive light, are also you know, fat is not the joke with them. And it, it's as a large girl, I've noticed this. And. It, it annoys me, so that's why I really love Fat In anime, it's really horrible. Because if you have a fat female in anime, which rarely happens, I want to point this out. Um, the girl is always like... It's a joke. It is a fucking joke. It's usually a girl who's a large woman who's used at the butt of a joke for a guy to basically be like, she has a thing for him, and it's, it's like, haha, funny, the large girl's the only girl that actually thinks this character's funny, cute, and I'm like... I really don't like those jokes. I, I really don't. No. No, 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 no. Um. But also, like. I, I just. I just want more fat positivity. I, I just want that. Too much to ask. Where was the subject originally going to? Because I forgot. Cork, Cork, what was the original topic of this conversation we were having? We're talking about, uh, uh, we're talking about, uh, dude from My, Hack My Hero Academia. We're talking about your Funko Pops. Talking about, uh, uh, scalpers as well. Ugh. And, my god, can people just fucking not with that shit? It's a Transformers toy, not a goddamn gold bar. <laughs> ah, you Let do me buy my brawn, goddammit. <laughs> Ah, you've also do it. I was gonna say, you wanna look up how much Funko, how the, there's some Funko Pops that are like uh, Comic Con exclusives, which I understand raising the price for that and also trying to compensate for your ticket. But even then, it's like bullshit. You wanna know the worst scalpers are though? Disney scalpers. Oh. Which became a massive problem. It become it still is a massive problem. Where space, there are people out there. Hold on, my phone's ringing. Am I okay? Uh, seems you've been doing the big these days, but don't let your guard down. Some boxer's got his eye on you, and he looks like he's he, and he's looking for a sparring match. He's at the children's park right now. Do you want to beat up a guy at a children's park? Oh boy, do I! Where is the children's park? Where oh. is it? Where is it? If it's too far for me, I'm gonna say no. Oh, it's just that way. Okay. All right. Lady, I know you're not supposed to be with me and all that, and you were supposed to be actually doing the plot, but now I was given the option to fight random guys in the street for really lots of money, and I really want to do that. <laughs> yeah, but... Ugh, scalpers are dicks. No, the ones for Disney. Okay, so... There are people who just have yearly passes, yearly annual passes to Disney, just so they can buy a bunch of shit and then leave. I shit you not. I hate that shit so much. Mm. Yeah, like, so there was- So they just go in and buy a shit ton of plushies and they're like, Oh, would you look at this? Authentic Disney plush, $500. Except, in essence, yes. Uh, the other thing they like to do is if there's a quote-unquote exclusive item Please note my air quotes. Um, a exclusive item that will be only available for Disney at a little time, especially during their special limited Disney events. Like, I, I get why some people... I, I, I mean, I don't get to go to Disney often. Contrary to, my Florida contrary to my Florida living, I don't go to Disney often. Because I am what is known as poor. Yes, and I would yes, yes, I suffer from this as well. And I loved it when Disney had a store on their website which is like, buy stuff that's sold at Disney. I love that idea, and I wish Disney did more with that. I bought an official Disney, uh, Figment, Figment the Dragon Monk. No, I didn't buy that. My friend Kai bought it for me for my birthday. Um, and it's an a... Never been one to go. It's fun. 
One day, I swear, I'm gonna just do a community event that will be offline where we go to the Minecraft recreation of Disney World. Oh, that'd be so cool. I'd be like, okay, everyone, I am your Florida expert. Everyone follow me. First and foremost, I have to make a new uh, Minecraft skin that actually looks my uh, character. I still have the same skin I've had since I played Minecraft <laughs> in the very beginning. Mind the mosquitoes. They will take your children. Don't, don't mind them. It also has Disneyland. Disneyland. Oh, that nasty. Oh, that nasty. Oh, hell yeah. Bonus. Bonus poison damage. Get him. Get him. Give him the suck. Give him the fuck. No, don't give him that. Don't give him the, don't give him the fuck. Don't, whatever you do, don't give him the fuck. Don't be, that, that. don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious, I don't be suspicious! Uh oh, that was suspicious. And bitch smack. See, this is what happens when you basically all you've been focusing on is improving your attack abilities. I'm level 3 in attack, by the way. Uh, Peace. What? Just laying this, this fucker out. Thank you for the steel knuckles. Let's go to a. I was gonna say, let's go to a restaurant to celebrate. I would honestly love to do the build a lightsaber thing at D Disney World. I would. But that scares the shit out of me. It's. I sit here going, not only does it scare the shit out of me, it's gonna fucking limit me. What, where you like look at the parts and like, oh, this would bankrupt me as just an entire human being? Well, mine is that. Let, I sit here going, I wanna do that. But here's the problem. One, I doubt they have purple. Two, I doubt they'll let me have a black handle with my purple lightsaber. Three, I want a fucking dual blade saber that I can separate and fight people one on one with. That's what I'm. <laughs> Do you think I've been planning my lightsaber since I was a since Phantom Menace? Yes. <laughs> do, you, do you know how when seeing Mace Windu with a motherfucking purple lightsaber changed me? It made that me... motherfucker has a purple ass lights. lightsaber. Dude! <laughs> yeah, because I thought I could only do green, blue, or red. And then when I saw purple, and then I heard about the mythos of all the other lightsaber colors, I'm like, oh! Yeah, and you see Samuel Jackson popping out with a freaking purple lightsaber. It's like, oh, my life has changed. I can freaking do purple! Because purple is my favorite color. I don't know what gave it away, folks. But purple is one of my favorite colors. Mm. Look at me. 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 Core, look at me. Look at this. Look at this. Purple's yeah, one of my yeah, favorite. Yeah. You see the color. Purple. Yeah. Really? <laughs> you of all people? Listen, if I had the time, the space, and the money, I would have a freaking pur I would have purple hair constantly. But due to me being cursed with naturally black hair, I <laughs> being cursed with both naturally black hair and ADHD, I'm I, I can't do full on black hair. A uh, full on purple hair. Because, did you know that because my hair is so fucking dark, I have to sit there for an extra few hours to get my... To get, you know, the dye to set in, because, you know, life is the... Jeez. Yeah, because you gotta have your hair... Because I have to have my hair bleached, and then I get to get it dyed. And then I'm, like, sitting here going, that's gonna take forever. Just your entire scalp is so pigmented. Yep. Fun fact, I used to do purple streaks, because that takes yes, less time. Ooh. Yeah, uh, fun, 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 fun -er fact. This is a lovely fun fact about me. Uh, I dyed my hair, my, dyed my hair streaks. The, my hair was, I used to be called skunkhead because my hair, my hair dye would fall, w washed out pretty quickly for a while. And this was the bright ass white streaks. Um. Don't mind me, yes. I'm about to drink, sorry, I'm, I, I'm doing math right now, figuring out how much money I have in. I'm drinking all the alcohol. And, but, uh, I had a purple prom dress. Shocker! And I made sure my hair streaks matched my dress. Because the teachers were like, are you going to be doing something different with your hair? I think they were trying to do a smack comment saying, are you going to dye your hair normally? I'd be like, nah. And again, of course not. What are you, nuts? Well, 
fun fact, I've never gotten in trouble for my stock. Woo, I'm drunk. Hold on. There's a way to take care of this. Water. Drink. Oh, I gotta find the right water. Yes, the purple melt water. Forest oh. melt water. Purple melt water? Purple oh. melt water. There we go. And now I'm sober. It takes only like two bottles of water to become sober. Don't think about it. Um, but yeah. But I ha dyed my hair color the same. I dyed my hair streaks the same color. I want to point out, this was all in 2009. Me doing purple hair hair was pushing the rules because you couldn't have couldn't have your whole hair different colored like that but it didn't say streaks weren't allowed so i did streaks and i got away with it because i even pointed out going your rules state you can't dye your full hair uh doesn't loud. mean i can't have partial just i have a bunch of frosted tips <laughs> Everyone had frosted tips. Fun fact, I used to do, uh, before I did the purple streaks, I used to have blonde streaks because the school said, and I quote, do not dye your hair unnatural colors. Blonde's natural last time I checked. <laughs> not your natural color. How do you know? I could be dyeing my hair black. <laughs> Hi. This is one of the best things about college is that <laughs> they don't give any shit. Just oh. show up to class, pay your fines, and... And get the fuck out. I do love it when people are like, in high school, you have to be professional. You can't do this crazy shit. I sitting here knowing all about art colleges going, mm. These crazy ass motherfuckers are, are up all night drinking beer. You think they give a shit about, about the piercings you are losing your goddamn mind about? <laughs> it's like, you have to do it this way. And then teachers were like, nah, bro, you don't gotta do this. I love it. There's a video series on TikTok where it's like, when high school teachers say that college is like what college is actually like. Okay, so, madam. Ooh, shiny thing. Grab. Ah! We got one! Got one, what? Got a bot! Hey, hey, hey! What Two bots! Do? Two oh bots! Oh my god, we are so popular! Oh my god! They're Bubble in herds. Bubba booey. Bonk. They're in herds. They travel in herds. You missed one. You forgot Clipponino. Oh no, I saw it. Oh, you're actually declaring them bots. <clears throat> Be gone, bots! We have the street. Be oh. gone, bots. We have destroyed the. Um... Uh. Hold up, this is the men's room. Lady. There's no one in there, and they don't care. <laughs> you won't see a penis. Although, if you do see a set sign that says, For a good time, call Maj Goro me. Don't, don't touch that number. That's mine. Yeah. Mine. That's mine. 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 It's just a freaking demon war cry from you. I used to watch a lot of Xena Warrior Princess. I used to do the... <laughs> I can project it. I won't do it. I'm not alone in my house. Coward. 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 <laughs> you, you, you coward. You do it. Listen, I got to meet Lucy Lawless, and then I had a whole panic attack because I was in a small enclosed room. Look at this place. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Where is my husband? I want to kiss him. Good save there. Good save. I saw where that could go horribly wrong, but you managed to pull through it. You know you did. I am on the screen, Brad Button! Oh. Big black man. Oh. Okay, holy shit. Okay, so the big... God damn. I know. Here's a fun fact about the big black man in the last game, because this is the same character from the last time. It was just some guy, and they pitch shifted his voice to lower, right? To make him sound more intimidating. Uh huh. They didn't do it this time. He's an actual normal lower pitched person. So it's a person who has a low voice talking now. 
Which doesn't sound as ridiculous, which thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Yakuza Kiwami. Two. Thank you. Oh, thank God you did it. You finally freaking did it. <laughs> Ooh, hello. That is a nice sh it, nice walk in. Ooh, pretty. Onisan. Girl. You haven't seen shit yet. You gotta see Goromi. She is the shit. And mine, back off. <laughs> oh yeah, Cor, remind me to send you my D&D &D character concepts. Yo. Oh no. Yeah. I told you I've been working on that, right? What have you done? I made Majima in D&D. Okay, alright, that's a lot better. I made him a bugbear because of the extra sneaky and reach. Ah, yes, yes, I... I remember that. I remember that. I was thinking something entirely different. He has a disguise kit because he has a hybrid entertainer criminal background, right? You want to know what's in his disguise uh, kit? What is it? Goromi. <laughs> oh, God. And I made the Goromi outfit. I messaged my DM going, I, I'm going to ask a couple questions and you're not allowed to You're not allowed to ask why I'm asking these you're, questions, DM. You're not allowed to judge me. Well, he didn't know that- well, he kind of knew I was doing Majima, kind of didn't. Because he thought maybe I was just going to do girl Majima. I go, I have a question. I'm going to list a couple of outfit items. Would these any of these stand out of place if I made my character? And I put a bunch of lists down, like uh, leather pants, uh, the, the classic uh, Majima jacket, uh, the Goromi dress, which happens to also be the same outfit thing, that that fishnets platform heels. <laughs> <laughs> And it was yeah, just like, this all seemed to wait a minute. Yeah, it was like, it seemed normal, and then went crazy. Mm. Something's fucky in Denmark. And then he messages me, because uh, my DM has only played Yakuza 0. He hasn't gone beyond that, so he has knows nothing of Goromi. And then he goes, yeah. is Majima a cross-dresser? I go, yes and no. And I had to explain Majima, I had to explain Goromi. Like, how dare you say- of course he is, yeah, what do you- How dare? Do you think otherwise? Wait, wait. I mean, yeah, but come on. I also had to explain it to Num Gorami, and he's like, who- Because I was like, I'm working- Because Num was asking me, hey, how are you working on your D&D? Because he's going to be in the one shot with us. And, um, he- Ew. And he goes, oh, I'm fine, I'm just almost finished designing Gorami. He goes, oh, so you're making a girl version of Majima. Kinda. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. 100%. You right on the money there, numb. Ah. Absolutely. Can't get much past you. <laughs> I'm just working in Gorami form. He goes, wait, I thought you were doing a bugbear, not a changeling. I'm not. I'm doing a bugbear. <laughs> and then, like, he looked up who Gorami was. And he goes, what the fuck is this? I go, <laughs> that's Gorami. <laughs> No, 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 it's just like, it's hilarious. And I was like, that's Goromi? Who's go- What? Does Majima have a sister? Maybe. Let me. <laughs> sure, let's go with that. Oh, no, it was so fun when I'm introducing- Because I remember when I started playing Yakuza 0, and I think you might have been there when it happened. Do you remember when Buckshot was all like, oh, you're gonna see- go You're gonna see this one aspect of Majima and not like him and not think he's cool or hot anymore? And then I- And I, he was mentioning Goromi, and I was fully kind of aware of Goromi anyway. I'm, kind of aware. I'm, I'm pretty sure I was there when I ha when the show Goromi. And you were! We were like, I'm waiting till you get here. Ooh, right. Plot. Men. Knives. Why do you I, have a knife? I remember. I remember that because Kiryu fucking betrayed me by fucking just like calling him a man. Yeah, but by, by misgendering him, I was like, cat, cat, cat. Let him kick his ass for like five full minutes. Just let's watch him get his ass beaten. Don't touch the controller. Don't do anything. Quiet, you. Quiet, you. You quiet. Seriously. Oh my god. I think I'm hitting notes that only dogs can hear. <laughs> yeah, you are, because my dog just got up and was like looking around like, what the fuck is that? Someone clipped that, by the way. I think that's one of my greatest moments ever. Majima, husband. Everyone out of the way. My man's on screen. Out of the way. 
<laughs> yes, Punk, I think Cat is feeling a lot better. Let's just check in. Cat, you feeling better? Everything good? I'm sure she's fine. I'm sure she's all right. So. I did not know I could hit those notes. <laughs> Seriously, can someone clip that or am I going to have to do the highlight reel myself? <laughs> not your husband. Wait, hold on. We have to we have to do the most appropriate thing ever. Core? Yeah. Cash in your p channel points for romance for me, please. Can do. Oh, it's on Kiryu! Get off! Get off! Go to the- There we go! Not you! Not you! Hit! Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's a perfect picture, too. <laughs> I know. I'm taking screen- you take I was about to say, you must be taking screen, screen grabs. I'm taking screen grab. Boom, 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 boom. Just on your side, just- You can hear it. I even- I told you the joke how I want a stream deck so I can just be able to silently take screen grabs, right? Girl, that- that's half the hilarity. I'm just hearing off- like, here, just here, slightly. <laughs> I like some people are like, why do you take so many screen grabs? I even pointed this out. The wiki's kind of bare when it comes to photos. So if I'm going to be the one providing all the imagery of these guys, I will do it. I will be top con content provider for images of Majima. I, I don't know, Punk. I, he might be getting on an age. I, he doesn't look that hot. Do you have a death don't sentence? Kill, don't kill me. Don't kill me. <laughs> jo it's a joke, bro. Don't kill me. Do you have a death sentence, Core? 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 It's a parody. It's a parody. I'm joking. It's a parody. Core. Here, put the knife down. Put all 15 of those knives down, alright? 15. I love how you think it's only 15. How can you hold all those in one hand? Because I am an eldritch abomination who has magic beyond the human comprehension. I'm just very, 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 very lazy and I only do it when I want to. <laughs> and suddenly I want to! <laughs> oh, I'm glad I'm back to bed. I I'm glad I'm back to my perky self now. <laughs> I'm going back to bed, alright. I uh, better mute the stream when you're gone then I guess. Alright. Okay. Excuse me, I have to go away for a second. I'm just gonna teleport into Ko into Kor's house. Uh, don't mind me. I'm gonna say hi to Jinj. Die, Kor! Kink! <laughs> Owie! Oh, cool. Oh, those are some good shots. That's some good shots of Kiryu, actually. Sajima! How did that go into marble? Don't think about it, Cat. Marble? Oh. Pizza. Made out of vibranium. Made out of my love. Go to Serena. You don't deserve to watch me what I'm about to do. Majima husband. Boys. No one cares where the floors went. We have Majima, the most important character. Everyone, bask upon ye the abs of Majima. Him plus Sir Night Eye being the reason that I am very good at ab shading now. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm joking? I'm, I'm not. I, I know you're not. <laughs> You've seen my heart. <laughs> Look upon the. Make it the... out of steel. Whoa. Fucking what? make it out of steel. Ooh. Ugh. I mean, him and also, uh, let's see, Majima, Sir Night Eye, and Gladio from, uh, F Final Fantasy XV. They're the reasons why I'm actually putting effort in ab work now. <laughs> Ooh. Just. I just want to put my head upon him. Let me just put my head upon his booba. Mm. Oh, that little... one singular booba. One, he has two singular boobas. His little giggle is so nice, too. 
Corey, you've watched My Hero Academia, right? Yeah, of course. I'm gonna ruin your day for you right now. What are you gonna? What are you doing? What you know the hair. Me? You you know the hairstyle that uh, Tenya Ida has, right? Uh, Ten Tenya Ida. Yeah. He has the same hairstyle as Majima. <laughs> And yet so different. <laughs> Hurts! Doesn't it? I once pointed out that to Numbskull. Numbskull goes, that's not true. Looks up pictures. Holy shit! Hey, look, guys. Holy Mary Mother of Joseph. Fishies! Fish. Fish. Ah, Majima. I love you, my darling. Let me kiss upon your lovely, lovely lips. La 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 la. Cat, yeah, you really need to work on your your seduction efforts because goddamn, you suck. This is not what they talk about. When they said do a mating dance, they were joking. They were. Oh, oh, there we go. What? Oh, nothing. Uh, video buffering on my end. Ah, uh, yeah, that's normal. Cat, we said do a mating dance. I am doing a mating dance. Look. <laughs> I'm doing the bird jumpies right now around Majima. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> pay attention to me, Majima. <laughs> like the, have like the fancy like fans out, just poofing them out. <laughs> we all know Majima's noticing it. He's just ignore. He's just laughing because it's entertaining. It's like he. This is my bird dance, this is my bird dance. Look at me, I'm seducting. Or, you know, if he's at... Okay, how likely is it that Majima has ever watched Planet Earth? He loves the environment. He, but he also loves cheesy zombie movies. Look, look, I'm doing the dance. Look, like, ha, he, ha. See, this, this doesn't work when I don't have a hot button. I just need to know what the rules are. Good. I want to know what the tournament's about before I do this. Oh, you want to get cold feet? It's going to be you up against three of your best one after another. That's it. Just me and my boys. Bloody mess of each other. I think I should be able to handle it, right? Right? Yeah. It's beating up people. How hard is it to beat up? I just now noticed a detail on Majima's jacket that I've massively ignored when I was doing my artwork. Oh, no. Universe, forgive me. What did you notice? He has buttons on his sleeves. Oh, that is minor. Core! Pulls you close. I... I... Uh, minor? Hold on. Minor? Yeah. Minor? Core. Core. Yes. Core. Yes. Core. Yes. Core. Yes. I... That is not a minor detail. Oh, that is an, that is an important detail when it comes to my art. When I draw my handsome, sexy boys, I like and w girls, I like to make them fucking accurate. I paint. I painstakingly redid the drawing I did of Majima to make sure I put his little stupid gold chain on it. Okay. Oh, yeah, that is that is that's very accurate. Yeah. Okay. Do you understand? Understood. Let's go. Muy comprendo. There you go. <laughs> I'm, tur I'm turning into the villain, and you're my little comedic, my comedic sidekick lackey, aren't I? How oh, are you just now noticing this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, English. Was English. Up, up, Corey. Up, up. Gotta get presents for Core. Got presents for Core. You'll see the presents. <laughs> Ooh. Oh! Oh, mama. Majima husband. What is it? What is it? What You'll is it? see. He freaked the mighty ink. Oh. The girl's gotta run. Hey, Majima. You didn't really like them girls, did ya? Excuse me, I'm gonna just take a screen grab of that and just edit it in. It's me. It's both me. They're both me. 
I'm sounding psycho now. What is this Conan and the Barbarian bullshit? Hello there, little man. You wish to die, die majorly? What the fuck? Who gave this man a fucking axe? What is this Dark Souls boss bullshit? I, I use no weapons and I look at him running around with a fucking axe that makes a Dark Souls boss go, come on, stop. He'd just be like, hey, hey, hey. We'd be rolling, 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 rolling. Even Ornstein's off to the side going, dude, that's a bit excessive. Who's Ornstein? Remember, I've, I, 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 I'm I, not that deep into the Dark Souls because the community was mean to me back in the day. Uh, if I remember right, that's the Executioner from Dark Souls 1. Oh. Who's the um, one pretty lady with the big giant scythe? I know she's in 2 and no one likes 2, but I like 2. I just like the pretty lady with the scythe. Oh, no, she's in 1. Uh, she's a uh, half breed. Majima. 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 Wait, no. Maybe that's not one. No, Dragon Slayer Ornstein is that. Smog is the one that I'm thinking of. Majima, we've talked about this. Excuse me, everybody. I haven't played Dark Souls in like a year. It's been a while. Yeah. Oh, by the way, if I get Elden Ring, do you have you planning on getting Elden Ring? We could work together in Elden Ring. Oh my God, I would love that. Well, Ark I... wants me to play Elden Ring, so he sees how I suffer. But still, but I gotta save up the money. I spent a lot of money this past couple. Of... What the Ooh, motherfucking but... things are those? What are those? Say something I can. I don't do. know yet. I haven't seen them. Oh, thank what God. Fuck? Okay, news, everyone. I can eat food. Majima's not that much of a dick. What is this Bowser bullshit we have here? This is... You're looking like a freaking enemy from Paper Mario. Oh my God, he does! Wait, wasn't there an enemy in Paper Mario with those spiky balls for fists? Actually, wait a minute. I have I have a deep cut. I have a real deep cut. Deep cut him. This dude's from This dude's from the freaking like uh the 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 the, 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 the fuck god damn it. No. No, no, no. Get back here. No, 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 no. No. The Excalibur movie. Ah, fuck. Oh my god, he's one of the Excalibur. He's one of the ones from the K K Quest for Camelot movie. It's Quest for Camelot. Yeah. He's one of the freaking warriors that got thrown into the pit. Yeah, with the chicken. Yeah, the ch the chicken, the axe beak or whatever from Axe yeah, it was a pain in the ass. You know Divas reviewed that movie, right? That, that movie is so... Bad but good? Yes. Like, the animation is wonderful. Some of the songs are, are nice. But think about it for like three seconds. Yeah. And it's like, I'm sorry, Carrie Ewells would not sound like that if he sung. All right, Majima husband, where the fudge are you? I'm going to take the sword of Excalibur from King Arthur right here in front of everybody. That shit's not going to go bad, right? Where is he? <gasps> really husband! To. Husband! I love you. Someone give me, uh, give me video of this. I need it for a redeem. I want the whole thing. Whole damn thing. I need audio. Look at him walking down the street. I need video of this whole damn thing. If Majima isn't a fan of professional wrestling, I'm calling bullshit on that. This man is a professional yeah. wrestling fan. Look at him. He's the cream. The cream of the crop. <laughs> Oh my god, he is such a heel. And I love him. No, he's one of the heels that really everyone really loves, and then they try to make him face, but then they're like, nah, just make him a freaking, make him the center one. 
Uh, like, a. Oh! 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 Oh, my man! Oh, well, that just caused the ki that that just caused the ovaries to explode. You'll see why. You mean him freaking sliding along like Sonic the Hedgehog? And anyone who says that man ain't flexible just got an example of how he is. No, he would be like the Undertaker, bad guy, but then he they try a bad guy, but yeah, people really really love him. So he's like in the center, in between, just does what the fuck he wants. He'll beat up bad guys, good guys, whatever. No matter who he beats up, everyone's excited when he gets into the gets on. You hear the <laughs> like the Undertaker, you hear the bong, and then the whole audience is screaming. We don't care who he's fighting, we just want to see this man fight. He has showmanship. Oh hell yeah, the real show's here, baby. It's like, who's come to challenge me? No one can win. <laughs> I gotta work on my I gotta work on my Majima laugh for Sunday. <laughs> there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. It's much lower. It's not <laughs> It's more lower throat than upper throat. It's not <laughs> it's <laughs> <laughs> What? I just can't believe we did that meme. It's a just good a meme. We don't it go, is a good meme. We don't go, hee hee, we go, hee hee. the tee hee, we go, hee hee. Oh, I hope to God there's no quick time events right now. Please don't be no quick time events right now. I am screen grabbing every while. Oh, why is this sexy to me? Oh, oh. Oh, he's, he's shown no mercy. He thus showeth no mercy. Just a quick reminder, um, Majima knows how to pole dance. Also a quick reminder, man knows how to break dance. Why are you reminding me he knows how to pole dance? I know he knows how to pole dance. I'm not reminding you, I'm reminding the audience. Listen, pole if dancing- If anybody who's ever seen someone pole dance, you know that's, that's a big one. Oh boy, is it. Oh, fun fact. Uh, so I was on, I was, when I say on, I was in the chat. Uh, we were talking about, and it was an art stream, and they were talking about dynamic poses and fluid motion. And I go, okay, this might be weird, but what I did to help myself improve my dynamic uh, poses and fluid motions is, is draw people pole dancing. And I'm not meaning the, eh -eh, I mean the full on, call me if you want, call me, you know, the full Montero. And then the, the art, the guy who was drawing, he's like, wait a second, that's not crazy. That could help people with fluid motions because of how fluid pole dancers are. Yes. And it's great if you want to do fluid, ridiculous poses like in JoJo's. Or in my case, Yakuza. Also, apparently that one person you subbed to, that you gave a sub to, Carrot Sandwiches, was not following me until much later today. According to my timers. Oh, no, fuck. You're welcome. Hold on, I'm feeling the heat. I'm feeling the heat. Ooh. Hopefully that's not a bot then. Oh, no, no, no. It was carrot sandwiches. I've seen them in other streams. Okay, good, good, good. Would feel kind of shit if I was like, oh, yeah, I g gave you a son. Beep, boop, I'm a robot bitch. <laughs> Yabba dabba doop bab, give me all your muns. Oh, yes, Majima lays like that every day. Aw, oh, he's tired. Aw, oh, I want to lay on top of him. <clears throat> hey, I'm now at peak performance in Horny. Who's Everyone missed this? <laughs> <laughs> Who knew a two-hour nap could cause this? Which, by the way, thank you for trying to call me, and I completely ignored it. I was... <laughs> You're welcome. I, I was still napping. <laughs> Really, I couldn't tell. I was just sitting here calling, just like, well, maybe it'll go. Maybe she'll answer by like the twelfth ring. It turned off, or maybe not. No, my uh, so fun fact. Uh, Discord's on my desktop and Discord's on my phone, right? That's what I. Fi yeah, that's what I thought. It's like there's no way. There's no way she can't hear this. You were dead to the world. Yeah, but here's another fun fact. Discord on my phone doesn't activate if Discord's on the de if Discord is also turned on on the desktop. I didn't turn off Discord Ooh. on my. Phone. Yeah, I learned that the hard way a while back, and I forgot to, you know, fix that. 
get all that sorted. I forgot to do that. I am very sorry. I was dead to the world, baby. It's actually very interesting to be dead to the world. Yeah. Gotta love them comatose level naps. I did not know I could hit that level. I expected to wake up and think it was... I thought... I always expected to be a, one of those wake up to think it's the next day, and then I go, no, it's still Saturday. It's not the next day. Oh, you're not dead, cat. Oh, right. Before I forget, saving time. All right. Anyway. Let's go forward. Where are we going? I don't know. Run! So did everyone enjoy this? Wait. I've seen Majima. Yes, you have. I'm not doing a smile right now the size of Kentucky. I'm trying to pick other states minus Texas. No offense, Core, but Texas is mad at... I'm, ba I'm mad at Texas right now. Oh, I'm mad at Texas, too. Too, sweetheart. This state is going... Is, like, catching on fire. So is Florida. Oh, yeah. God. Fuck. Fuck any, uh, fuck the people ruling Florida right now. Fuck DeSantis. Anyway, um... Alright, cool. Fuck DeSantis. Thank you. <laughs> you didn't know who, you didn't know who was running Florida right now, did ya? No, I didn't know. I just didn't want to say it on stream. You said it on stream? Hey, Arrow, it's all good. Fuck DeSantis. God. <laughs> Motherfucker going up to kids and trying to rip their face masks off and... And, like, scolding them on live television. Those kids are going to have, like, death threat letters now. Oh, no, what I love... Was it DeSant Was it for DeSantis or was it for a Texan uh, person? So They basically started chanting, fucking fascist. Oh, yeah. Huh? That was one of the un universities here. How does it feel to be proud of your university? Oh, it... I felt fantastic when I saw that. I was like, yeah, that's the new generation right there. I that's the generation you. after us. Yeah. Although it's so interesting that the TikTok just kept showing me people who took, who basically recorded that because it kept being taken down. It was like three pay, it was like four videos of nothing but that. And everyone's going, I'm proud of these kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, evidently the like, like the head per, like the CEO head person of that university Joined put it. out a message. No, he put out a message just being like, "Well, as you know, everybody has their freedom of speech." It's like, "Fuck you." No, the te no. What was fun was one of the professors joined. A few of the professors joined in. Yes. They're like, "Fuck it, I have tenure." <laughs> Can't get rid of me now, bitch. Surprise! I'm a socialist. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I oh. ain't going nowhere. Oh, Majima. Oh, look at this man on a disc. I want to be on his desk. Oh, God. And now I understand why everyone thinks I'm a Majima Psycho fan. <laughs> I'm not this bad in real life, people. I promise. Quiet! <laughs> it's the game. I swear it is. It is. It's just the game. Oh. Quiet, you. Shut up. We love Majima. We want Majima. Yes. <laughs> No, it's like funny. It's like, so you're okay with guys who are in the Yakuza? I go, no, 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 no. It's like how some girls think that Kylo Ren is hot, or some girls think Will uh, Hannibal's hot. I think they're hot. Oh well, yes, they're everybody sexy. loves a good block man. Yeah, but you get the idea. It's just like, yes, he's hot. He's good looking. Do I condone the shit he's doing? No. Do I condone that he works in the Yakuza? No. But although from, from the media we are shown, he is one of the more good guys in the Yakuza, so it's kind of fine, but it's still a very gray area. It's a very dark gray area, but still. I do not condone the Yakuza just because I happen to have a crush on a guy who's fictional in the Yakuza. The fictional yeah, like, Yakuza. Up, yeah, like, Yakuza, just in general, are is just, like, an organized gang. Yeah, they're the mafia. And, but yeah, it's... they're broken up into multiple different things. Wow. They're not just, like, all, oh, would you look at me, I... I do bad things, or, oh, look at me, I'm a bad boy that does good things. Like, no, they're varied. They're very, very varied, and more than likely, they're going to sell you to, to sell you off before they help you. Yeah. But what, basically, Kiryu is a massive outlier when it comes to Yakuza, if you think about it. In general. Oh, yeah. Massive absolutely. outlier. Wait. Which it makes me feel a little less guilty for thinking Ma Kiryu and Majima are hot because they're basically what is known as massive outliers in the actual Yakuza. Huh? I hope. <laughs> what? Yes, yes, absolutely, they are. Yeah, they're... 
Oh, God, I want to just... Uh. Grabs an egg, cracks it on his abs. Oh, it's cooking. <laughs> <laughs> mm, look at that bacon sizzle. Mm, look at that bacon sizzle. God. You know, I didn't think I would get this crazy when I saw Majima. That's a lie. <laughs> oh, yeah, I told myself I was going to go and check the hostess clubs, but I'm going to deal with this for a little bit longer. Just, to, just like a little bit. Well, Omni Cap Terreta, yeah, let's start there. Right, in front of me. That's some iffy shit. I want, I want some. Nanny. That's some iffy shit. Things you say when you get drugs from the guy behind the 7 Eleven. Oh, he grunted. Oh, Core, help me. Core, help me. <laughs> help! He did one of those low mm, sounds. Mm. Ovieries. Oh my god, those just shot out. Oh no. <laughs> they went pew! They're, those aren't supposed to do that. He's just like, huh. I'm like, oh, the ear the ear candy, the ear candy. Core, you weren't there when I was doing uh, Clue Finder's fourth grade adventure, were you? No. There's a character who the whole thing is like you're doing spelling for him, and his voice is that low, deep rumble, and I'm like, what was the word again? Aha, uh -huh, thank you. Like, I didn't want to skip him talking good levels of sounding. Oh, yeah, just, 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 just talk a little bit more. Oh, that ASMR. Oh, oh, Daddy Thoth is taking care of me. It was Thoth. Thoth was the one who was basically making me do the spelling. All I'm saying is I never liked the guy. Mm. Oh, wait, plot! <laughs> yes, plot. Plot mm -mm. is plot. <laughs> He's always giving us that weak shit about peace and coexistence. You can have peace and coexistence. It's just it's going to take a fucking fight to get there. And now look, everyone thinks the Tojo clan's lost its sides. Oh, it's sack. It had a sack? What was in the sack, Machima? Were you in the sack? Want to be in the sack with me? Tired I left the whole clan scrambling around like this. It just goes to show we never had a shit together. Oh, Majima's pointing out how shit the uh, leadership was and how he didn't do it right. Hey, look, a fish! Oh, good! Cutscenes where they're talking! I can just take screen grabs all day and make fun of them. No one's allowed to ask how many screen grabs I have currently of certain characters. What was the last number you gave me? Like 112? That was for one session. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get another terabyte or two hard drive space. Yep. I mean, the quality of these pictures are not the greatest on the planet. I could do better if I had a better, proper program, but I don't. I just use uh, screen, green, screen grab from uh, Steam. Oh, he left because of drama! Fancy! I'm paying attention. Don't worry, audience. I know what the plot is. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's up? I just pictured it in my mind you just hop into the video game and just shut that good pop right there. That just hop back out. <laughs> that fish just ate a tiny fish. I know it's supposed to be a fish no. metaphor. Sirens are going off? Are we in Silent Hill? Daddy Pyramid Head? I mean, what? You know who's a pain in your ass, Majima? Me, if you say the right words. Oh my. Oh my. Hey, Nishida! Not Nishida, uh... That's not Nishida. Nishida's dead. Nishida died in Kiwami 1. Wait. Oh my god. Is this a scene? Oh, I've... I've... I've oh, no. No, it, this is not that scene. Note the lack of the florist in the scene. Did you think that it was the scene where the... 
where I sent you the where it goes between PS between original Yakuza two as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I thought it was that one. I thought it was that. No, one. no, no. That one's later. That's one's later. Okay. I didn't want to say anything. I know the scene. I sent you the video. So, here, do you have a game plan? Majima's like, murder every fucker. See that guy? I'm gonna, ha I'm gonna take his ass and shuffle up his ass. I'm gonna take his ass and shuffle up his ass. And, and you, motherfucker, you drew the unlucky straw. What's gonna happen to me? Your head's gonna be shoved up your ass. <laughs> what? I just wanna make that one art. I put the tattoo placement wrong on my artwork again. God damn it. I suck at doing tattoo placement when it comes to Majima. I've always got it wrong! Cat, cat. Cat, cat, what? Focus. I'm focusing on how I don't have my tattoo placement right on my current artwork I'm doing of Majima. I'm gonna have to fix it. How come I can't get tattoo placement on characters anymore? You hate. Kiryu, you're such a good friend! He's extending to help Majima after Majima extended to help him, and why am I not saying hands? Oh. God, Kiryu, do things to me. Wait, no, don't. Kor's in the room. We can't let him know. <laughs> Nothing, Kor! <laughs> I'm sorry. I. I. I what? So, you know how there's a Sid in every Final Fantasy game? Yeah. Final Fantasy XIV? He, he's a femboy. Nice. He's got them cur he got them hourglass. And he does like a little run and everything. It's like he cute, he cute. Well, I mean, uh the Sid in Final Fantasy 15 is the old man who's uh the grandpa to Sidney. I even go, are they related? And then the ex goes, they're not related, it's just one of those stupid universal contest contact constants that Final Fantasy is apparently supposed to have, like Moogles and Cactars. I go, do you just not feel enthusiastic about them? Fuck you. God, just imagine what Majima could do with those hands. He could really be good at kneading dough. He's really most likely good at bread making. Very good at bread making. Really great at bread making. Right, right core bread making. Bread making. Yes, bread making all of the dough. Yeah, yes. Absolutely. He, he's good at raising bread. Raising a lot of bread up in here. Really good at making rolls. He really loves rolls. You roll them yeast. And mixing the batter of dough. He's just good at baking in general. You should try you should try his croissants. There's plot and I'm not paying attention. Ow. <laughs> the audio didn't work. I don't know why. The audio's not been working well on my OBS. All right, everybody. We're about to kick some ass. Take some names. Ass name. Take ass name. Ass 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 name. Ooh, that's like the beginning of a fucking music video. Oh my god, that man's wearing trip. What the fuck is that? What? Hold on. Wait. Core help. <laughs> Oh no, you in a turf war. Oh my god, you're in an RTS. Help! <laughs> what? What the? I'm the. I'm sorry! Hold on! I'm sorry! It's, it's, it's like in Like a Dragon. What the frick? Well, I mean, Like a Dragon, that makes it. Don't spoil Like a Dragon for me! I know Majima's more important than that. It's very important in that oh, game. In the trailer where they have like a golf cart thing. Oh, okay. Still glad to see Majima's mad as ever and funny as always and hot as fuck. Anyway. 
Oh god, it's turned into an RTS. Do you know what, what, what what's that one RTS that people are, de the one RTS with the aliens and the humans and like they say the sequel's not that great, it has the snitties. XCOM? That one. Am I turning, is this XCOM? Are we playing XCOM right now? I have a feeling this is turning into XCOM. Mm -hmm. By the way, XCOM 2, fantastic. XCOM Chimera Squad, might as well be a different game. Wipe out all the enemies into physical conditions and claim victory. Oh my god, it is fucking XCOM. I'm not good at, I mean, I don't mind RTSs, but I, I'm i dumb. I can do, quit, I, I can do certain ones. And then, okay, wait, hold on. Enemy status, da 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 Select a unit, then press A, then move them. Wait until units will move towards that. Oh my fucking god, it is XCOM. Okay, Core, how are you at XCOM? Core? Uh, are you better than me? Yes, I am. Okay, that's all that matters. <laughs> My requirements are low. <laughs> uh, select a unit. Okay, select a unit, then press Y to raise their spirit. When their unit spirit goes up, their abilities increase, and they full recover HP. They must spend. Ca you must spend cash to raise spirit. You can raise spirit a unit. To f what? What? You can use any of the uh, to activate a skill. Which skills available? Uh huh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hearing that, just hearing your brain dribbling out from all this. I'm glad I'm wearing headphones. It's collecting the dribble. Now, <laughs> the real question, if this is like XCOM, does it have a percentage? Please, no. Like, is it 99% and you still fucking miss? Oh, God. Which, yeah, Albert, I've played XCOM. I know that pain. Uh, some strong enemies have the ability to use special attacks. Why can't we just fight each other? I have a fucking gray sucking on the end of a shotgun and I'd still somehow miss. Kiwami drink, restores you health, stamina, cash, gotcha. Uh, defense bonus, cast conversion. I'm dying, Core! <laughs> Boy, yeah. howdy, if this is just the biggest info dump. There are 14 pages of this motherfucker, holy shit. Am I going to remember any of this shit? You know what? The best way to learn is by playing, and the best play way to play is by starting. Come on, let's do this shit. Oh, fuck! I didn't even set everything up yet for it! Wait. No, wait. No, it's, it's not RTS. It's Tower Defense. I'm not it's good a tower defense game. We succeeded. Okay, tower defense. I might have a little bit more good luck in. No, I won't. Okay, okay. So it's tower defense slash plants versus monsters. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, this is a little so less painful. Sense. Yeah. What, did they recruit half the fucking population of Shoto? Where are these people coming from? We're not allowed to say for the sake of brevity. That dude got bonked. Go there, idiot! It's like RTS slash... It's reminding me hard of League of Legends for some odd reason. Don't say League. Please, for the sake of my girly butt. Yeah, 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 Albert. It's this is way more tower defense than we thought. Which makes which my... makes me wonder, what can you put down? I basically control the units. Units, fight for me. This is stupid. Who at motherfucking Yakuza's action base? Thought this was a smart idea to do. Hoomst! I ask, Hoomst! What game were they trying to emulate? Because it seems like Yakuza tries to parody a lot of different games. I'm racking my brain to figure out what which one they were going off with this. Okay. You! Go here, 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 then there. 
fuck. What's the glowing bits? The glowing bits are money that you can use for your abilities that I have been fully ignoring. Damn. Okay. Majima husband, go forth! Do your thing! I don't know what I did. This isn't even Age of Empire! Age of Empire is a lot easier! I played Age of Empire until the cows come home! Oh my yeah, I cannot me. place what this is supposed to emulate. I don't know what game they were trying to parody with this. Oh, so that's where that song comes from. What the fuck is this? You did great, guys! I don't know what I fucking did, so shut up. <laughs> There's Kiryu off to the side. Just like, I really don't want to be here. Yeah, it's like an age of empires such weird events. You you love it. I'm confused by it. Is this where Kat's gonna start obsessing over this thing and become the expert of it, like she does with the freaking other game, other part of this game? You know, the, help me. Yeah, you're right now saying you you absolutely loathe this mode. Then then two weeks go by. You mo gue gue five weeks out. You're just like. You're just, like, making entire offerings to this side of the game. Listen, I'm almost done with it with the Hostess Club, so, you know, I need a new outlet. <laughs> who, are the, who are these men, men in black looking motherfuckers? Wait, Coming when did real... Are going to tell you about the Matrix or something? Uh, this is the CEO, CEO of the Mothro Reality. You look stupid. So these are your enemies, you know, back in my day when... Oh cool, you're here in front of me. That makes it easier to punch you. Ass rats. I like that. Why do you guys want Banjima's plan so fucking badly? Please tell me I don't have to do the tower defense bullshit again. Oh, you know you have to. They gave you a 14-page pamphlet on how to play that side of the game. You're you're doing it. Oh, do you know there's a fun meme in the Maj in the Yakuza fan base where it's like no one plays the Maj no one plays the mahjong because it's stupid. Do you? I don't play the Maj I don't play the mahjong because it's not the mahjong I'm used to. I said, you're going, give me dominoes. I can do dominoes so the cows come home. The food or the game? Yes. Domino sponsor me. Just, uh, please, please, dominoes. Just please, dominoes. You have gluten free options for my friend, Core. Yes, they do. They actually taste really good. I've heard that. I've heard the gluten free dominoes is actually pretty good. Domino's, please sponsor us. <laughs> Domino's is not going to give a sponsorship to a gal like me. I really Papa do. Papa John's just swan saunters on up. You want me to give you a sponsorship? No, get the fuck out of here. No, 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 no. Nine and a half foot, foot pole is not long enough. Why only nine and a half feet? Listen, I cut half a foot off for her reasons. It's weird that Majima hasn't stabbed anyone yet. Majima doesn't go out and stab people. That's his flanderization of him. He's very cold and calculated. He plans his shit. Just randomly stabbing a person isn't gonna do anything good. And also, why waste a perfectly good stab if you know guy isn't gonna... He's not gonna stab someone if they're not a threat to him. This is me working on characterization of my character for that one shot. Uh-huh. What? Also defending your man. Also defending my man. Hmm. 
Cough, zombie one and kawa. Zombie Majima doesn't count. He's not my man. That's just Majima being crazy. Also, that's just that's just Majima being Majima. It's normal. Also, at that angle of Majima, he looks like he's wearing a smoky eye, and I'm like, oh yes, his eyeliner and eyeshadow is on fleek. Because all the skills that are needed for two eyes is put onto only one. <laughs> and that's why it's the best one. <laughs> you know, there is a per perk to an eye, eye patch. You don't have to worry about matching eyeliner. <laughs> and also, that's, that's also a thing for art. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> cover, hey, cover the eye, put, a, put an eye patch on, put some hair over it. As long as you cover up that one eye, you don't have to draw it, technically. <laughs> it's so weird, because I do have pictures of Majima with both his eyes still intact, and they don't look right to me. I look up- I have had moments where I have to do a double take going, who the fuck is this man and why is he in my Yakuza folder? <laughs> Majima, honey. Like, fuck are you? My boss is crazy. What's going on? I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy looking at Majima's crotch. Uh, probably getting death threats from these guys constantly being told, Oh, we're gonna put your company under the ground. Oh, no. I, oh, I was looking at, uh, I was looking at Kiryu. You are the three musketeers? So which one's which one? Kor, uh, who are the names of the three musketeers? You watch Dominic Noble, right? Oh my god, it was a long time ago. You've never- he, Three Musketeers. Uh... Yeah, I got depressed one day. Oh wait, did I message you the message of me being like- I was watching- uh, I was watching Dominic Noble's cover of the Twilight series and then me going, Oh god, I was basically dating a Mexican non-vampire Edward from the book. <laughs> yes, I did see that. How did it feel to know that? I'm glad you got out of that shit. <laughs> We're all glad I got out of that shit. Uh, let's see here. More or less, Kiryu would be Athos. The, the three musketeers are the these bad guys we have to fight against. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, not none of them. 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 Especially that pruny face looking motherfucker there. <laughs> They're all so wrinkly. They're all so wrinkly. Men! Moisturize! I know, I, this is coming from me who doesn't moisturize, but that's because I'm an idiot and I don't like the feel of lotion on my face. Phrasing. Oh yeah, no, let, let me let me go ahead and take a crack at it. Oh, lay motherfuckers, have you not heard of it? <laughs> Johnson and Johnson. After the shower, put it on your face. It'll keep the skin from getting agitated. I should know. <laughs> I know, I'm sitting here going, I really should moisturize more often, but then looking at the prices of all the quote-unquote good stuff, I'm like, is this stuff really that good, or is there a cheaper option? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ginger uh, has a, had a bottle of Lori. I say had, because she told me, oh, I don't use that anymore, and I swiped that shit up the moment <laughs> that she said she didn't need it. It's like, mmm, yes, silky smooth. <laughs> I am smooth now. Feel my elbows. Oh, fuck my elbows. They can be crocodilian all they want. <laughs> I ain't going to that extent. As long as my face doesn't break out, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm just here like, I, I need to get some of those face masks and be like, do you mind? <laughs> just imagine Majima with one of those little face masks just like trying to relax and Kiryu just walks in going, what are you doing? Moisturizing. <laughs> We, we were gonna do uh we did a mud masks at one point and she was opening the canister for a nut and i asked her dead straight that's gray right it was like yes it's it's a gray mask okay good i didn't want to think i was committing a crime right now everyone makes that joke it's like i know i know it's makeup i know it's you know i'm gonna rip it off in like five minutes still kind of disconcerting that's why i prefer the green ones when they used to have green ones no, they, have green ones? they used to back in the day. There used to be green facial masks. Because hmm. you remember the comedy bit was always the woman with the covered in the green ma green facial mask, cucumbers in her eyes, like I'm just having a day to relax. It was made of mostly like avocado. <laughs> That's why it was green. 
Ah, uh, had a little bit of avocado. Yes. But then people would make jokes going, we'll eat this later. I, well, I made a joke. I, I was like, someone pointed out something. It's actually proven sh tr shown that Ki Majima does take care of himself. No, so for all we know, he has like 20,000 soaps for everything. While Kiryu, on the other hand, has the 12 and 1. <laughs> By the way, don't get like the the 12, 3, what, whatever in one shampoo. That shit dries you out so bad. <laughs> Can confirm. I had, I, I had to borrow my stepdad's shampoo because I ran out. Ah! Oh god, I tried the shit from Dollar Tree. Oh my god. Oh the yeah. It was like it was snowing on Mount Everest. That's how bad my hair was. That's why I stick to head and shoulders. What about all oh, these? Yeah. Oh, head and shoulders is great. I don't do a lot of conditioning because I live in Florida. If I condition my hair, I get even more fluffier. <laughs> Use conditioner, they said. It would be fine, they said. Now you over here looking like Carrot Top. Look at me! This is this is conditioning hair dry, using a hair dryer in four and a hundred percent humidity. Poof! Look like a Pomeranian. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yes. It's like I don't. Know. If my hair was at its max thickness, it would definitely be like that. Because remember, I have half my hair shaved. If I had full hair, it gets pretty ridiculous. Oh, and then they. Like the kinks start forming, the knots start like. Yeah, I don't. I'm not even curly then, haired. Oh. I'm not even fully curly haired. I just have this thick Italian hair. I'm like, ugh, ugh. It's thick. Oh, so it... It's thick and straight, which people are like, thick straight hair isn't a thing. See this? This is just the ponytail when I'm half shaved. Uh -huh. You should have seen it when it was full. God damn it. Oh. oh look at me! Aren't I fucking mythical? Thank you. Ara ara, Albert. Albert John, ara ara. <laughs> Sorry, you, you're reminding me to ara ara after being angry. It's not gonna work. <laughs> I can't ara ara when angry. Majima, 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 majima. Uh, also, I need to refill my water. Because <laughs> I've been told I need to hydrate. I can't hydrate if I have no water. Corn, give me a glass of water. <laughs> <laughs> it's so great to be back. Ow! Albert! Well, he just did you a bunkin'. Yes, he did. It was very rude. Look! Crab son! Crab son! Crab son! Now, you might all be wondering, why do I call it crab son when actually- Crab son when, you know, we don't call it crab son. Well, I can't identify- I can identify crab's gender very easily, which is on their belly. But here's another thing I know, and this is a fun fisher fact. It's illegal to harvest female crabs! Certain, spe certain species of crabs, it is illegal to harvest the females. Did you know that? Oh, so that's why they measure them. Well, no, they do it on their belly. See, okay, so the belly uh -huh. has this little V-shape on the belly, right? I don't know if this is all crab species, but at least the crab species I know have this little V, and the way the V is shaped tells you if it's male or female. Now, oh. now don't ask me which one's which, but I also know that a lot of crab species, it is illegal yes, to harvest said. female crabs for the sake of population. Male crabs are a plenty. Female, not so much. Can Albert please hey, stop bonking? Can Albert please stop bonking me, or I'm going to have to cut his bonking privileges away? <laughs> Immediate pets. <laughs> Thank you. I'm trying to find what else do I have not eaten. So yeah. Also, uh, stone crab harvesting is very interesting. Ooh, deep fried crab. Yes. It's also absolutely terrifying. What? Stone crab? Yeah, deadliest catch and all that. Oh, no, no. Sorry, sorry. Not stone crab. Okay, so there's a uh, there's oh a species God. of crab that lives here in Florida that is harvested, but we only harvest their claws, and we only harvest one of them. All we do is we grab the grab the crab, rip off the one claw, throw it back into the ocean. Grow it back! <laughs> oh, hey, dude, what's up? Oh, motherfucker! 
And then they come back in five years in that fishing spot, grab the crabs, rip off the other arm, and throw it back. Hey, dude! See you in a couple years. God damn it, not again! All right, Oliver. See you later. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna go get water. But why? It's sustainable farming. It's purely a sustainability option. Also, the meat in the crab's belly isn't that good. The 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 belly to organ to. The, the belly in the in the belly area the uh, like the organ to meat to shell ratio is horrible the only good ratio is in the claw so it might as well just take the claw rip it out and it's again sustainable fishing it is such an interesting thing also I have to pee core keep them busy tell tell them about the story of uh King uh, King Ghidorah I'm just picking random kaiju I know you've done Mothra and Godzilla and Gamera and running out over here Talk about King Kidora. Okay. Thank you, Car. So yes, King Kidora. One iteration is that he just came from space. No origin, just like space. And a civilization, I think it was on Mars, looked at... No, Planet X. It was Planet X. Looked at King Kidora and went, Huh, I wonder if we can use that. Sent it at Earth. Like, yes, yes, we'll use this creature, destroy the people of Earth, and we'll be able to propagate it. Well, then a big motherfucker named Godzilla came came up with his friends. They're like, fuck you, dude, and proceeded to beat the shit out of, out of King Ghidorah. It doesn't matter what anybody else says. It was a fucking... It was a fucking madhouse. As they just curb-stomped Ghidorah into the ground. And then the planet got... Planet X dudes were just like, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't take over this planet. Yeah, let's not. And then Godzilla blew him up. And then, then, oh, oh, the worst, the worst origin story. Where the future decided, some people from the future decided to come to the past to help get rid of Godzilla for them. And so what they did was take a few soldiers, take a, go to the past, and kill the dinosaur that would become Godzilla in the end. Which is really strange to say. <laughs> Since Godzilla evident evidently came from a living dinosaur on a Japanese isle. Don't know why. And after doing that, they left these little... This little fucking puppy thing... Is Godzilla Final Wars any good? Punk, you're asking you're asking a very tricky question because that is it's a yes and it's a no. It's a yes if you want a good time. It's a no if you want a good movie. <laughs> like there is a point where Godzilla's doing uh doing he, he's performing karate. He, he's performing. Performing martial arts. It's a weird movie. It is a strange 2010. Then like try it, try it that shit. It is bonkers. Yes, cheesy. It is cheesy beyond all recognition. But that movie does get a gold star from me, because they did have a uh, Godzilla versus New York Godzilla, and the fight lasted oh 30 seconds. If that. If you want to go go check it out real quick on YouTube, it, th there's a clip of it somewhere. Essentially, uh, New York Godzilla yeeted himself at, at Big G. Big G took his tail and swiped that little, little newcomer right in the fucking gut, threw him into the Sydney theater, and proceeded to just nuke his ass like a goddamn fu- Oh, God, it- it was glorious. Just the entire Sydney theater just exploded with Zilla inside of it, and that was the that was the name they gave him was Zilla, just so you didn't have to confuse him. They they yeah. did that they did that monster Ooh, dirty. Daddy, I love you. I'm not gonna know you. <sighs> yeah, you're a major kaiju nerd, correct? If I'm wrong. Hi. Oh, now you can hear us, Cat. Yes. You're a major kaiju nerd, right? To an extent, more or less. My specialities happen to be mod, happen to be Mothra, uh, Gamera, and sometimes Godzilla. Why? Uh, have you seen Final Wars? Nope. Oh fuck. 
<laughs> Fuck. I was going to talk to you about how Big G just destroyed Zilla. No, oh, I, ha the I haven't watched it yet. I'm again, I'm I'm still currently in that mental state of I can't absorb new media. I can only uh, enjoy old. It's just like a a quick 30 second fight. It is nothing. Why? What, him fighting Zilla? Yeah, why he fight Zilly? New York's Godzilla. Oh, oh, Final Wars! Okay, no, no, I know what you're talking about now. No, 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 sorry, sorry. My brain was thinking of the animated version. Yeah, no, 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 no. No, God. Big G versus New York. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And basically it was like, what? Like, the guy says, I hated that fish breath as a little stab to the guy who made the New York one. <laughs> yeah, no, I, oh, I didn't. I didn't even catch that. I was laughing too hard about Zilla blowing up like, like he was made out of thermite. No, I remember that breath. Remember that line because I was watching it again. I was like, "Huh?" And there's like, "Oh wait, the guy said something. I should really listen into what that guy said instead of laughing over him." Listens to it, laughs more. Ah. <laughs> Zilla, just go. I mean, I like Zilla, but I like the animated series Zilla. Oh, yeah. The animated series redeemed that monster so, so well, but yeah, the movie but it, was god-awful. I was thinking about one day doing viewing nights of watching the Godzilla series, but then I remembered I don't have them anymore. Not legal copies, at least. <sighs> Cough, cough. Yar har fiddly dee. Yar har fiddly dee, diddly dee dee doo. If you don't want forgotten media, then go fuck the room. Yeah, that's some weird thing. Like, a lot of forgotten media. A lot of media gets getting more and more forgotten because either A, streaming service no longer holds them, or like we have to do it the old fashioned way. I'm still trying to find freaking um, mystery diners, but I can't find it because there was there's one streaming service that has it. Put it under a pre put it under a freaking premium thing, and I'm like, no, this show hasn't been on your free on Food Network for almost over five years. Why do you still have it under under live TV? Yes, I'm calling out Hulu right now. A lot of certain things annoy me that they're behind the quote unquote it's a live TV thing because the show is still airing. That's what it means to me when it says live TV. But I'm like, you have Mystery Diners, which isn't live anymore. The original Hercules. I don't know if Xena's under that yet. And Xena, which are also, quote-unquote, considered live TV, according to the thingy. And I'm sitting here going, but they're not live to, they're not live, live TV anymore. Xena and Hercules hasn't been on for like 30 years. <clears throat> hurts saying that. Yep. Ain't that hurts. No, wait, wait. Yeah, 30. It's been years. less than 30. It's been less than 30. Okay. I remember Hercules being on. A little bit longer. And right yeah, now at I'm. At least since I was six. Yeah. And I need to really find my uh, hard drive because it has not only all of Xena and Hercules, it also has the special movie special, uh, TV movie specials that were done before the Hercules series came out. I also have Young Hercules as well as the animated special, which some people do not like, and I actually did enjoy it. This is a really good song in there and it makes me giggle. It's a, we are titans, we are strong, and then there's this whole bit where they're like, boom, shaka, laka, laka, boom, shaka, laka, laka, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> For some reason, that gives me the serotonin. We don't talk about it. We don't talk about Bruno. Wait, no. what? what movie is that? Uh, the Hercules and Xena animated adventure. It was like one movie. It's a movie. Oh my god! What? And something happens to Xena's, like... Xena's like friend, she gets turned into a hippogriff or something. Yep. Oh my god! Oh! Also, her friend was called Gabrielle. Gabrielle, yes. It, it, it's been a long while. Can you tell how much I, I love Xena? I forgot there was an animated movie. Kai, you just opened up a third eye into my past there. Holy shit, that rocked me. You're welcome. <laughs> is this where I tell you I've also made a specialty playlist which basically is all the Hercules and Xena adventures all in order of timeline not by day it was released timeline in the actual series oh god that is how level of nerd I am people 
because there's an official Hercules and Xena timeline thing on their wiki, and I decided, hey, let's make a playlist dedicated to it being in the timeline, just to see how fun it would be. It's fun. <laughs> Mind you, the episodes that are set in the future are really, really jarring. So then I also did it in order of, I also have another playlist, which is Order of Air Date. Which is also fun. Which includes Young Hercules, and the TV series, and the... I'm in deep, people. I'm in deep. Cause I'm in to be, and I'm gonna creep it it over my head. See going under. But still, it was just... I love Xena and Hercules, okay? I, well, I fuck Hercules. I love Xena. Um, but... <laughs> <laughs> mm, I'd fuck Hercules, too. Oh, wait, you meant in a bad way. All right. We're, we're talking the bad way. We're talking about the bad way. Remember, Kevin, Con Kevin Conroy has... Not Kevin Conroy. Kevin Conroy, good! Um, the Hercules actor, whose name I just basically removed from my memory ever since he started doing horrible shit. Wow. Uh, no, it's not Kevin Conroy. It's not Kevin... Ark, could you look up something for me? Oh, is my... Ark in the chat? No, I mean, uh, Core, could you look up something for me? Um. Uh, I'll give it a shot. Actor who played Hercules in The Legend of Hercules. Because I feel like it's a Kevin, but I'm like sitting here going, Kevin Costner, no. Kevin Nash, definite no. Sorry, I am. Kiryu, you gotta stop smoking, man. You're gonna get fucking lung cancer and then cook. And there ain't no way that. Kevin Sorbo, thank you, Punk Perfect. Moogle. Thank you, Punk. That. I knew it was. Awesome. I was like, it's Kevin. What's the last name? It's always a Kevin. I don't know it. Always a Kevin. Always a Kevin. My own parents were murdered by the Tojo clan. Well, he's not wrong. I learned that last year. Oh, that's a good angle of him. Ooh, that's a nice angle. Ooh. Say what you want about Yakuza, which is a very serious crime game. Uh-oh. What? Oh, <laughs> Punk, you're, you're an exception. You're an exception. You're like one of the two. You're one of the few exceptions of Kevin. Okay. Oh no! Did we just pull a boomer? Oh, you millennials! You're one of the exceptions. You're one of the more hardworking ones. <laughs> no. Whoopsies. No. So I was. Sorry, Punk. Sorry, Punk. No, I was. Uh, this was a while back. I was talking to my current DM about one of the t my talk to the toxic DM I had. We're gonna pause because this is very important. Pause it. Uh, uh, talking about a po uh, my toxic DM, who I go his name and talked about how horrible he was. He was very toxic as a DM as well as a real person. This ex DM of mine, whose name is Keith. Keith. And then my DM goes, "It's always a Keith, isn't it?" <laughs> there, <laughs> Keith. It's always Keith. Name one good Keith. And I'm I'm sitting here going, I can't name one good Keith. Can't name one Keith. We looked up Keith named celebrities and we're like, oh. Keith David. <laughs> no, well first we went. Well first I went. Uh, Keith Richards, who's the uh, singer, for, who's the guitarist for Aerosmith. I'm like, I think Keith Richards might be decent. Hold on, we go to it. We did this freaking deep dive into Keith, Keith Richards' backstory to see if he's gotten anything bad. <laughs> right, like he's been in jail for drug possession and, you know, all that jazz, you know. And it's all like nothing major. Nothing major has happened according to our research. <laughs> When it comes to Keith Richards. So I go, okay, there's one good Keith in the universe. And then I went, Keith David, the voice actor, Goliath. And now we're like, God damn it, we gotta do research on him too. <laughs> and then we made a joke going, you know, after this research, you know that the next day headlines are gonna come up going, Keith David and Keith Richards caught being and doing ritualistic baby eating. <laughs> and we're like... <laughs> because we were just... Always... Always why I like preferencing. As of right now, with the knowledge that I have, with how I <laughs> interpret social events, with how I now am informed and everything, Noel Stevenson is a good person. Fucking just make myself totally immune. Just in case somebody comes up and goes, you know that she she punted at a small puppy, right? <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, <laughs> thank um... you, thank you for pointing that out, I guess. 
Wait, the lead singer of Rolling Stones. I thought the lead singer of Rolling Stones was... No, that's Keith... Is it Keith Richard or Keith David? Keith... All right, hold on. Oh, God, we gotta look up all the Keiths now. No, see, the running joke was gonna be... Because he and I wanted to do a collab stream, like, years on, later on in life. And we were, and I, he was gonna convince me to play, um... Uh... Not Civilization, not Age of Empires. Because he knew I used to play a lot of those games, and then I retired from it. I basically, quote-unquote, retired from those games. <laughs> and I go... And he made a joke going, I have an idea for how we announce the opening. I go, how? It's like, my character comes in going, Cat, we need you for one last game. I think it's Crusader Kings. Crusader Kings. Crusader Kings. He goes, I told you, I'm not being a part of this anymore. And then the, he would go, but Cat, the Keiths are invading. God damn it! Just when I thought I was fully retired. <laughs> I thought I got out. But they they put me, me back in! in. So that was that was gonna be our whole bit because I told him I haven't played an RTS like Age of Empires and all that jazz in a long ass time. That was gonna be the joke, <laughs> and it's great. And I love it. Anyway, focus on the important plot. I don't think I could ever forgive the man who murdered my parents. Once it was against their will. Lady, seriously, serious question. I know you say you cannot forgive the person who ever killed your parents, and I'm assuming you most likely are an orphan as well. Which, sorry, welcome to the club. <laughs> the Keith's sons have invaded. We must light the beacon. Raise the banners. What? Core? Core. I, I don't know. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> Raise the banners. Get the giant cardboard cutouts of all her husbandos. We must summon her. <laughs> this punk move go off in the corner. I do not want to be a part of this. <laughs> You gotta do it in order of who has the most booty. But they all have booty. Most, damn it, most. Get the measuring tape out. <laughs> but they're cardboard cutouts. We can't do round. We can't do girth. We can only do halfway. <laughs> and do the last. <laughs> it all changed when the Keith Nation attacked. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, Punk Moogle! You're Zuko! No! Why we... No, no, no. He's a Kevin, not a Keith. <laughs> He's good. He's good. The nations of Kevins have come to unite against the Keiths. Okay. Okay, the reason why we came up with this idea is because... Also, my DM, Dapper Teethling... He has a... He has... He knows some horrible dickish Keiths, so we made a joke going the Keith Nation is a <laughs> My cheeks are hurting from laughing. I just want everyone to know that. <laughs> it's so hilarious. Light the beacons. Ma Gondor needs aid. <clears throat> Gondor calls for aid. <gasps> and Keith shall answer. Da 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 no, da no. The nation, we have to light the beacons. Now all of China knows that Keith is here. <laughs> Perfect. Dun, dun, dun. Well, he, well, in Crusader Kings, I think it's Crusader Kings. Uh, it's really easy to mod that game. And he goes, question. I go, what? Do you have any pictures of the horrible Keith? I go, maybe somewhere in my archives. Why? No, you're not modding his face to be the villain. <laughs> <laughs> Also, apparently chapter one of the Majima Saga is available now, and now we're in chapter six. Schemes. So, do you want to get through all of this first? Or? Or do you want to go ahead and bite into the chocolate right now that is the Majima chapters? There's more than one chapter, and that's why I'm just going to... My idea, my plan, is to play the full game and then do the Majima chapters. That's the plan. Because I have a feeling there will be references in this game that will be in the Majima chapters that I won't get until I play the game. I think. Well, it said only chapter one was available, right? Yeah, but I want to do them all in one go. Also, I have a Majima outfit planned for that. What? Does this shock anyone? 
You have a Majima outfit planned. Planned! <laughs> AKA, I've doodled up the idea and I need to draw it out. Why? Oh boy. I also have a little Kiryu outfit for you. Yay! <laughs> Maybe. I have to figure out how to make Kiryu into Goshit. <laughs> you know who that guy in the white suit reminds me of? Keith, not Keith David. Fuck off! Chris Angel! <laughs> oh my god, he does look like Chris Angel. Thank you. Mind freak! Back in like the early 2000s Chris Angel. Not modern Chris Angel. Early 2000s Chris Angel. Just goes up to that guy in a gray suit, pulls out... Pulls out a full yen. Mind fuck. Where'd the, where'd the yen go? Maybe you should cough it up, sir. Makes him cough up and then, like, a hundred yens. Mind fuck! Oh, yeah, there's plot. We're supposed to be paying attention to that. They're warning him. Wait! Why is Japan raiding the sex shops, bars, and casinos? They're innocent! Goddamn Puritans! That was last year! Oh no, that was this year. Sorry. I got my plots mixed up. I'm sorry. <laughs> also, if I play the Majima chapters, you know I'm going to try to figure out ways to keep myself playing the Majima chapters and not get to the main game. Do you really want me to deal with that? Core. I, yeah, no, I don't know. You, you, you see how my logic is working now? On one hand, Majima. I think they only have the first chapter open for you right now. Oh, you think I can't extend that thing to be longer, to last a long time? Oh, yeah, that's right. Have you met me? It's also any of the side quests that are that are optional in there. He's like, these side quests are perfectly optional. Okay, playing them anyway. But they're optional, playing them anyway. They're not going to provide you any good shit, playing them anyway. All they're for is, like, experience points. I want that disco ball. Disco ball? There's a disco ball, you'll see. Oh, that's a big disco ball. I want to use it for New Year's. Would you ever go to one of these clubs? Be honest. You pay money to hang out with people. Uh, I don't know. I, I stay at home. Also, you're married, so like this would be very awkward if your wife found out. Partner. Wife? Weefy? Whiffy. 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 Okay. They have taken to Wiffy pretty succinctly. Wait, did I start the Wiffy thing, or was the Wiffy thing always a thing before me? Because I can't remember. The Wiffy thing was a thing before. At least I think the Wiffy thing was a thing before, because... Because, uh... I don't know, it was kind of like maybe a few months ago that I, that I said that to her. Huh. She was like, ooh, I like Wiffy. Uh, let's head to the Amano building. Okay, we're going to the Amano building. Lady, if you die, I swear to fucking Christ. Uh, no. Dead. I can talk to tomorrow, though. Your info guy who hangs out near the theater square? Worth checking out, I suppose. Let's hurry. I'd look at the building by, by to be shy. Oh, you'd look at the building and then be too shy to walk in? Aw. Okay. We're gonna have to talk to my informant. Who's your informant? It, he's a guy... Known as the Mad Dog of Mad Dog of Shimoru. It must. I must. I must be weird then. I so must be weird. Why? Because I have offered to take Jinj to one. I mean, it seems like a fun idea. 
Yeah, it would it would be a fun idea. Like, like I I've I've like asked her, do you want to go like to uh, to a strip joint? And she's like, no, I don't want to do that. Oh, do you want to go to Chip and Dale's then? No. no! <laughs> you want to go to Thunder Down Under? <laughs> Which is an actual place in Australia. It's an actual. So there's a uh, Australia themed. It's the Chippendales basically, but it's Australia themed. All the people who work there are from Australia. In speedos and everything. Oh. They, oh no. It's called Thunder Down Under. It's in. I learned about it being in Vegas over ten years ago, and then someone recently just told me. Who? Someone who just recently went to Vegas goes, and I asked them, "Hey, I, I was mentioning, hey, is the Thunder Down Under still there?" Thinking that. Maybe it doesn't exist anymore because it's been like 10 years, right? No, it's still there. Uh -huh. It's still there. They just, because again, recently in Vegas, I made a joke about like, you know, go to this place because he's pan, so it's perfectly fine. <laughs> perfectly okay to get get some Steve Irwin action. Yeah, and, it, and I, and he found it and I go, did you go in? Because <laughs> he's like, oh yeah, I found it. I'm thinking of going there. I go, did you go in? Did you go in? Did you go in? Nah, I'm with a bunch of straight guys. They were already against it. It was a business. Oh, those wimps. Was... Those cowards. <laughs> Fun fact, Thunder Down Under was actually made some special technology to make Speedos not rip, off rip offable because apparently they had problems with uh, women getting a little too handsy. Or men. Most likely women. So they made special. They invented this like a weird special speedo that stays on. That is I, impressive. Actually, really ingenious. That, yeah, that's impressive. Yeah, it was just like it stays on. I'm like, is it like an elastic or something? I don't know what it is, but it's basically it makes it harder for the women to pull them off them. Good. Protect your sex workers. Good job. Now, can you bring that technology available for other strippers? I yeah, think they yeah, absolutely. I don't know if they have, but if they have, they would have made a cool buck mm. from it. Listen, Chippendale's got the ripper white pants. We got the don't keep rip my pants off. That day. That day. That day. That day. That day. That day. <laughs> this bit's never gonna get old. Then, when Dante dies then, in this series, we'll still be going like. Sometimes I still hear him in the wind. That day. <laughs> Hello, Six Shadow. Hello, Six Shadow. Welcome to my stream. Which, if my mom goes, "Why are you still streaming?" I'll be like, "I." Hi, mom. How you doing? Speaking of which, I'm well. Streaming. Okay, well, we have a package. Oh, goody package! Thank you. You're welcome for your serotonin. I'm assuming. Yes, sweet serotonin. Sweet, sweet. Sweet, sweet serotonin. It's my night eye Funko Pop. Ah, to join the collection. Could you close my door completely? I'm working on it, woman. I'm. Okay. Purses are getting rehung by doors. I don't understand what that means, and I don't want an explanation. I'm not currently trying to open up my serotonin box. No, so not. God damn, where are my people openers? Yeah, I have like 15 of them. Where are they? <laughs> They're in a box. Okay, where's the people opener I use for opening up boxes that's really close to me so I can use it to open up boxes? The other people openers are too far away. <laughs> oh. E e too far away. Fine, I'll use this paper clip. It's also a people, people opener. There, I got it. Oh, it comes in pack. It came in packing peanuts. Everyone was like, Kat's just stopping the stream to take care of a Funko. What not she? Yes, yeah, she is. Hello, Sir Night Eye. Welcome to the collection. I'm going to just put you right on top of All Might. I keep mine in boxes for stacking reasons. Ah, there we go. I really need to invest in shelves. Because <laughs> one, one wrong shake and everything falls on my head and I'll die. <laughs> You just get United States of smashed by everything. Ah! That has happened once. I once accidentally positioned some of my Funkos because three of my Funkos aren't in boxes because I lot because I wanted them either out of box or I lost the box or they came out of box, right? Mm -hmm. And I used to have my Harley Quinn with a hammer up at the place where my currently boxed Funkos are currently at. It's very unstable there if you happen to not be in a box, and she used to fall on my head a lot. 
if I got too intense into video gaming. So randomly one day, Harley, Harley Quinn will just bonk on my head and I'm like, motherfucking! Everything's fine now. Okay, so uh, everyone, the uh, donation pools are open for not only for me to get Elden Ring and a bunch of other very important work stuff. Shelves! I need shelves! And desks. I need a new desk. And shelves. Lots and lots of shelves. So are you just going to be able to buy Elden Ring straight out? Or do you need like a graphics card or something? Uh, that's the other problem. I should, I need to get a, gra I think I need a graphics card. Because oh mine is, because mine is currently like 930 something. Oh, wow. Thank you for pointing that out. It's three digits. Yeah, no, get, get like a 260 or a uh, 2060 in there or something. And it's NVIDIA, right? Mm hmm Yeah, no, a 2060, put that shit in there and you'll be, you'll be golden. I'll see what I can do. You don't have to give me money, people. If you're willing to spare, it's fine. But come on, don't do this. Don't do this. Oh, right, food. I need food. I need food. Uh, food. Wild. We need to figure... Yes, we do need to find out where that guy is. But first, I gotta get some consumption in me. Consumption! <gasps> it's a tiny takoyaki place! Tiny Takoyaki Place! I miss you! <gasps> yes, 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 yes. They have fries! Core, they have fries! They have fries? Sour cream fries? <clears throat> it's just take french fries to the next level with a dollop of fresh and cool sour cream. Mmm, more fat. You know, Yay! You don't have to eat it if you don't fucking want to. Oh, I'll take the fries. I just won't take the sour cream with it. Now, excuse me as I just soak it in ketchup. Oh, there's a kitty on my head. Well, it's the kitty on my head. Hey, kitty. Which kitty is it? Uh, uh brown and white. That's marshmallow, marshmallow fluff. I think. That's marshmallow yep. fluff. Yeah, that it is. Akitaki mash. I just made him eat a shit ton of freaking takoyaki. Just give him that dad bod. The man needs health, okay? He doesn't, he doesn't need a dad bod. He just needs a health. Quit obsessing over my man's booty. If you keep giving him takoyaki, that booty will be, will be everywhere. There's a special place in heck for you. I don't know where it is, but it's special. Yay, my own corner. Well, what does Tim always say when I say there's a place for you in hell? He goes, yeah, it's called the throne. <laughs> Why? Why do so many people say that? It causes me distress. Oh, we're going to become a multi oligarchy. That's why. I have a friend who keeps saying that. It's like, yeah, there's a special place in hell for me. It's called the throne. Like, that's disconcerting. Why? I don't know. Do you not want me to have a freaking throne? Do you not think I deserve a throne, Core? Eh, I don't want to see a fight break out between you and Satan. That's all I'm saying. Dude, me and Lucy are just going to become best fun buds. Okay. There's a second story to this building. I did not know that. Oh, look! Virtual Fighter! No! There's a club Sega in hell with the claw machine. And it's not even the fun claw machine, it's this fucking claw machine. I'm not angry at it. I'm not. I want the blue bird. I want the blue bird. Bird son will be mine! No one judge me. Not allowed to look at it sideways. Why not? Because they told you not to. I, I'm confused. Oh, yeah. No, you can look at the one the one with the cute little pound puck bee knockoffs. You can look around the corner on that one. I guess they're trying to make it seem like, oh, well, you can't do that because there's stuff around it. Like, 
could that... I can technically do it here. Yeah, I was about to say, in a realistic standpoint, I could technically do that. What you do is you have a spotter on the corner. Spotter on the corner! Be your, do your job! A little to the left. A little to the right. Right there. Right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boop! Aww! Oh. I seriously do not understand. Like, just imagine, if you will. Imagine. Use your imaginations, children. My little mortals. If Majima was here to be the spotter. There's worse Excuse me? I'm sorry, Yakuza 5 has worse? Well, I made the bird present himself. Cat, we're supposed to be doing important plot, plot stuff. Yeah, 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 plot stuff later. Bird now. Uh, what? Well, you, may have, you may have to do that without me. I, oh, yeah. I'm gonna have to get going. Yeah, because I started stream late and everything. Come on, bird butt. Fuck, I completely missed! Go for the butt. Go All for right, it. bye, y'all. Have fun, Cord. Be safe. Don't eat yellow snow. I don't know what to do with my ices. <laughs> yellow ices sounds disgusting. Anyway, bye. <laughs> bye. Come on, 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 come on. For the love of God! Just let me have my thing. I just want the blue bird of happiness. Give me my serotonin, god damn it. Someone's gonna watch these later on and be like, this person's sad. Come on, 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 come on. God bird dang it. God bird damn it. Okay. Calm. Stay calm. Be calm. We have 7 million yen. If we have to waste all 7 million yen on this goddamn bird, we will waste all 7 million yen on this goddamn bird. Stay calm. Relax. I'm chill. I'm great. Yes. 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 Yes! Yay! I got it, 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 I got it. Stop bouncing, cat! I got the jump, jump, bun, chan! Yes, I got it, 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 I got it. I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. God dang it. I got it, I got it, I got a little bird. I got the jumbo pig jump. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Bunchan is mine. It's okay. I have the one bird I wanted. The flat bird of happiness. Quiet, cop lady. Of the children's park. It's been abandoned for a while now, though. Cave Kids called 16 bit. Oh, that's adorable! They're about to get their asses kicked.
Okay, hold on, I gotta check something on my my guidebook. Stop warning me about Yakuza Kiwami and how violent it is. I know it's violence. Yay, violence! This has nothing to do with me doing cabaret re reading. No, 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 no. You need the chap the chapter you will be need you'll need is chapter six. Okay, so chapter six is when I can go back to the restocking. Gotcha. If you weren't with me, we'd be doing it. Actually, no, I wonder. I'm just massively curious if I can do the thingy with the thingy and the who's a hotza, he's a who's a hana has a hova, who's a visa vaza. She's with me? Lady! Ah, fine, whatever. And the kitty loves my head. Should feel good. See the stripper lady. Run, 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 run. There we go. She said she needed to do restocking, and I'm going to do some more restocking. Yes, I'm doing more of the hostess shit. Does this shock you? So, what? I happen to like the Hostess Club stuff and Core's not here. Oh no.
しれませんタスクを求めてるように見えますがガスクラス、there we go。OK。アドパイロットミーズ、very weird。We are not making that much money today. Fluff. Okay. Fever time. Yo, go. 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 Go.
Not make a lot of money. Yeah, that was not good. Third date with her. ちょっと行き詰まっちゃいまして。スランプに陥っちゃってるんですよね。どんな漫画を描いてるんだ。80年代後半、バブルの頃を舞台にしたラブコメなんですけど、なかなかいい展開が思いつかなくて。それはまた
Par. Ba to ka do da. Chikaku no steel wa tein mo kyaku mo jinsei keiken hofu na yatsu ga oi kara osusume da ze. I don't know what to say. Shoku wa bijin da kara ogotte moraeru kamo shiru. I feel like an exhausted pigeon. Ara, o jōzu desu ne, Kiryu-san. Sore nara kayotte miyou kana? Drink. Shitsu wa watashi あちらのお客様からです。というやつにもちょっと憧れてたんですよね。もし誰もやってくれなかったら、キリュさんがやってくださいね。あ、お金は出しますから。お前、それでいいのか。さっきラブコメ漫画を描いていると言っていたな。は
we're doing the uh, millionaires. Okay, girls, we're gonna kick some ass and take some names, all right? The Millionaire's Championship. I only make it. You know, there's this one time I got kidnapped by a rubber club. I don't think, over a cabaret battle. Not the weirdest shit! <laughs> What is that weird baby doll dress? Go, oh, baby doll dress plus pigtails? Oh, sweetie, we are so gonna change your outfit when we're done. You, uh, I love you, but that's a baby doll dress. That's an ultimate baby doll dress, and you have ponytails. What are they doing at that club? Do, do you need an adult? Oh, she needs an adult. Wow. Not out of it, kira mm -hmm. Hey, Survivor, if you want to join in voice chat, you can, by the way. This right, you know, why waste everyone's time with a battle if you're fortunate now? We want that. Fight. Uh, we'll hurt without Koyuki Trample. Without her, we're going to beat you. Oh, please, this time I face you. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, okay. Yuki might be adorable, but sweetie, there's something a little uncomfortable about it. Okay, girls, let's get this going. I am cracking my back right now. They're already making money like crazy. Wow. Come on, sweetie. Get to work. Make the money. Star girls, get out there! Go, go, go! This is a military like organization. We will do pincer maneuvers. I've suddenly become military. I do not care. Get up there! Party! Oh fuck, they're already at one. Oh, come on, girls! Gas glass, go! Hoi! No! Grandma, go! Tao, go! Follow us. 
失礼しますいらっしゃいますはいフェーバー Go 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 deploy deploy check Extend session session extended go 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 We need to kick their ass come on Fuck Tycoon's gonna fucking show up and I'm gonna have to fucking hit it hard. Take that tycoon! Give me the money! Give me the money! 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 Yeah, baby! Woo! I did it! Play it like it's 1988. Party like it's 1988. We did it! Kisan! We won!
betrayed me? You betrayed me? I was never on your side. He brought the Grand Prix Commission's com He bought out? Oh, damn. What? Oh, but with the four shine making a steady progress, he finally got desperate. But he sure he'd win this time. How'd he pull it off? I asked an old friend to step in. He went to committee and took out the trash, so to speak. An old friend? Majima? Is this suspense killing you? Oh, no. Husband! Husband! Oh, Majima. Majima. Hmm. I'm happy. I'm a happy panda. Majima-san! These weasels thought they could ha they had it made, so I went and taught them the cheaters never prospered. <laughs> Majima! <laughs> Ugh, shut up. What did he do to you? He taught me the finger of death. Why are you still here? Oh, did they fill you in Kira-chan? I used to manage Sunshine with Yoda-chan and Yuki-chan here. What? Is that all that nonsense about you being the Lord of the Night was not a lie? Huh? It's not true. There's a legend in these parts. We became Sundaburi's number one club, but then he vanished one day. Where did you disappear to, Majima-san? Did you get my vinegar? <laughs> Sorry. I was worried sick, you know? Jeez! You were uh, you were here one day and then gone the next. I thought you must have died. Sorry, Yugi-chan. Well, let's just say I had a lot going on at the time. Still, though, kind of sucks that the club I spent all that time building up fell into the hands of the Kazani dweeb. Yeah, we worked very hard on this. I worked... Oh! <gasps> guys! Guys! There's a nipple. I see a nip. And now you're not a hostess but an owner? I'll take your eye off the ball for one second. The whole game changes. A second? It's been almost 20 years. Majima-san. But why now? What made you decide to come back? You had a turn asked me to. I didn't think I could face you after all this time, but I couldn't leave you hanging either. Ooh, nipple. Majima san. All the same, I'm glad you did. I even nailed down the traitor for you. This is most likely in the chapter. Wait, we have a traitor? Oh. Yeah. One among you is tied around Kasani's little finger. What? No way. Who? Who though? That be. The one standing right there. <gasps> I knew I liked you too much. I liked her too much. No wonder. That's so low, Aki-chan. What the heck? I didn't do anything. Oh, uh, yeah. I was pointing at the shit sack behind you. Okay. Okay. I feel better now. What? Oh, sure, sure, sure. Gasp! Bonzo Uzagai? Mm. Yep. That jump's been deep with Kazani controlling the Grand Prix from the shadows. That was pretty clever. That's crazy talk. I demand you produce proofs of these baseless accusations. Hey, half dead guy. Bruno Shady, son of a bitch, right? <laughs> okay, note to self. When I do my one shot, say that line. Hey, half dead guy. Bruno's a shady bastard, right? Son of a bitch. Yes, sir. Ah, he was so fast. You're out of tricks now, Kazani. Isn't it time to admit your defeat? Dun dun dun. Grr. Now it's not celebrate too early. Oh look, it's her. I mean, by one have you can't help you beat me staring you. And you know, t don't you, don't you, Yuki-san? Let's sell this once and for all, fair and square. Unlike you, I won't run away from a challenge. See you later, then I hope. Come on, Kazasan, we're leaving. Ugh, oh, oh, right. 
She's in charge. He's not. Just saying. So we're at, a, at this home stretch. Um, excuse me. Wouldn't mind if I joined you guys? What? I didn't like working for cheaters, and those guys are way more fun. Okay, join. Welcome aboard, Yua Chan. Well, Koyo safe. You joined us. The old winner, owner's back. And for some reason, Majima-san has sewn up. Let's end this. Yes, sir. Okay. We have shit to do. We have mini games to play. Levels to girls to level. And importantly, make over a woman. So the only club left is Grand Prix Crescent on Sunshine. Right. But with Bruno gone, the, can the Grand Prix even keep going? Only host? Don't worry. The committee has been reformed with new people who play the rules and they brought us a new host quickly. Hi. Yep. Perfect diamond. It's coming now. Woo! Majima. Kirichan. How do I look? Oh, you're so handsome. Nani. Majima son? Of course. Do you even have, want an explanation? Well, they need a host, so I volunteer for shits and giggles. But then they actually hired me. <laughs> what is me in a nutshell? I just want to say, have you hosted anything in your life? I hosted that orgy a while back. Does that count? <laughs> no. yeah. Can't say I have. But don't stress, Kiri Chen. I got a knack for ad libbing, right? Yoda Chen. Majima, I don't know who does your Islander, but it's funny king on fleek, and I'm jealous. I've seen it firsthand, and thanks to you, the Grand Prix will can carry on. Care about that? Well, as long as that's sorted. Majima, husband, huggy. Hi. Sure. Yes, after Yuki-san stepped down, she became the next legendary hostess. She joined us when I was still a number one at Sunshine. She worked hard and figured out things fast, so she climbed up quickly. At that time, she was fond of me. So fond, in fact, she admitted that her dream was to beat me and become her number one herself. But the day she became number two happened the day I have. The day she became number two happened to be the day I quit Sunshine due to some circumstances. Dun, dun, dun. God, it's like mm -hmm. circumstances. What happened? That was when Cousin Akun, who had only been staffed until that point, took over as club owner. How did he accomplish that? Kazakun was always really capable, and he was on the short list for managers. Yoda-san and I had complete trust in him, and I guess we let him see too much. Then he betrayed us, took the name of Sunshine for himself, and became the sole owner. Oh, that hurts. I'm legitimately hurt! It's so hard to believe, but if you really trusted him, we were careless. We didn't see that he didn't care about the customers and only prioritizing money. And once he was shown he was able to... The profits, it was only an easy push to set me and Yoda aside. That's why Yoda-san and I went to build Forshine. We only hated us more for that, and that's when the harassment started. Oh, Yuki. You pretty much know the rest. He got into this group by pretending I saw the light about his money and only wanted to stop him. That must have hit hard. Garchan rose up to be number one after I left, of course. But she thinks I ran from the fight, and now she wants to settle the score. And that's why, maybe what, maybe what you ought to do. <laughs> hmm? You got Kiryu back up as your manager, and Yoda-chan is going to whip the staff into shape. Maybe it's time to dig up the dress and smile so you can face her. Yuki-chan? Me? Go back to house to sing? Yeah, you're only 39, Yuki-san. You can still do it. Grumbles and 31-year-old. Yuki-chan, let's not go around spreading my age. She's right, though. No way a legend like you could forget how to do this. I don't care what happens. anyone says. Kana-chan. It's all about seeing the legend in action. I can agree. My. I wants to request an old lady like me. I don't know. Hunt the, I want to point out, the uh, headmistress gets requested often. You know, you've gained an experience that makes you more than ever you were. Kitty son, you really think uh. so? I do. And you should trust what the manager has to say. Isn't that right, Majima-san? Maybe? I mean, let's, let's be real. This is still just Yuki-chan here. Majima! Ugh, 
Fine, let me see if I still have any makeup in the back. Yeah, I'm coming with you. Girls, two arms. Yuki-san needs our help to make this a reality. Uh, got it. If she's available for makeovers, I'm doing them. Feet. Sorry, that took longer than I thought. How do I look? It's weird, isn't it? Oh, you look nice. You actually do look nice. Here you. Stunning, stunning, stunning. You're stunning. They weren't even lying about the legendary thing. <laughs> well, not bad, but nobody can shave 20 years off the clock. Majima! <gasps> Shut up, Majima-san! Your daily look is downright loony now. What do you do... What did you do to your hair? If walking crisis is a fashion statement, then congrats! <laughs> if walking crisis is a fashion statement that you're going for, then congrats. Wow, Majima. She does have a point, but Majima... <laughs> what the hell? Where does Savage Yuki come from? Uh, you taught her. This is how I think we'll beat Sunshine. Yeah, this is the team we need. Guys, the toughest battle's yet to come. Let's give it everything we got for Forshine. Yeah. She's so pretty, though. You're so pretty. Ignore Majima. He's a moron. Majima's a moron. I repeat. Majima is a moron. Oh, sweetie, sweetie darling, we're about to give you a makeover. It's gonna be like putting pumps on a ham. <laughs> Let's see. So she, her whole shtick is cute. Which I am. Yes, let's have the girls run around in fucking bikinis all day. Ugh. No. Hey, it's the Yuki dress! So cute. I have 30,000 problems with this outfit, and I can list like 20 of them. The main outfit might not be bad. <laughs> uh, SSS makeovers, thank you. Okay, so we're just going for cute, sexy, and funny. Okay. Dark temptation rising. Like, this is a poofball way to happen. I do like the maid outfit. I low key like the maid outfit. <laughs> Loki like this outfit. <laughs> we got to do something about that hair. Black schoolgirl outfit is a reference to Jap 80s Japanese J-drama. That I understand. The schoolgirl outfit I understand. It's the, it's the, it's, it's, it's the, it's the, it's the, 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 the,
Space buns! Yeah, I'm doing space buns. Y'all can't stop me. How am I gonna do sexy though? Maybe later. Sorry, I'm busy trying to figure out everything. Is it because of the hair? It's because of the fucking hair. Okay, 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 okay. That's what's causing me to have fucking stat issues. Corsage. Gaudy rings. Brilliant. Glitter. Gorgeous watch and then flower bracelet. Okay, that's what it's currently about. And I can get this, but I don't like that dress! I fucking hate it! I hate the dress and the nails.
Sexy. Eh, eh. Is that dress sexy though legitimately how is that dress sexy If I keep her hair like that, then it looks... Ugh, I don't like the hair, though. need something extra sexy. Found it. Solve the puzzle. Woo! I win. That's that makeup to whore. You do look stunning. Let me change everything about you, though.
trying to think of the reason why I was having issues was because those fucking glasses. My years of Barbie makeup finally useful. I'm making a demonic evil gir girl, can you tell? I tried the red hair, and there's no red hair option that I like. See? There's no red. Trust me, that was the first consideration. Do the paradox, please. Yes, there is, and she's one of the best girls we got. We don't we don't judge grandma. Grandma's good.
We got to get my girl up for experience because she needs experience. Don't tempt me. I know Gorami's not available. Trust me, she's not an option. If she was, it would be great. <laughs> it's comedy is funny. It's been a minute up. What's shaking here? Yeah, that's girl calling for a manager. Look at that man swagger. Oh, Majima's now the freaking. See, I didn't pay attention to him anymore, but now that it's Majima in my ear, I'm like focusing on him now. It's like, oh, finally.
Come on, get more XP, girl. Got it. Woo! You look like a little three in that. Fuck. You, girl, we have training to do for you, girl. Training! Got the guides. Yeah. Shh, up story.
Why are you drawing the pen? Oh, I'm getting sleepy. I should stop streaming. It's eight o'clock. Fuck, it's eight o'clock? Uh. Anyway, I'm going to... After this cutscene, we're going to save and then I'm going to stop because I am now noticing what time it is and I'm hungry. And I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. <laughs> I need to eat, Albert. That's not a healthy habit to be saying. Anyway, I'm going to end the stream tonight. Uh, since no one else is here, I'm not going to send you guys off. Ha. Anyway, I'm going to go now. Uh, bye, everyone. <laughs>